$11.95? You can't afford $11.95? What's your problem? Cool it, girl, my only love. Cool it, girl, my only love. Juice on your lip, and it's dripping on your hips. Put my girl in jail for so long. She did nothing wrong. I want you free, and I'm begging to the skies above. Cool it, girl, my only. Yeah, cool it, girl, my only love. If I was that guy from the farming website. I'll treat you right, clap those cheeks all night I would change your life, no more only fans I will be a only man Free Kool-Aid for life, only for eleven ninety-five. No more living in a van We're going on vacation in Japan my heart tub cool it girl my only cool it girl my only love juice on your lip and it's dripping on your hips put my girl in jail for so long she did nothing wrong i want you free and i'm begging to the skies above cool it girl my only For so long, she did nothing wrong. I want you free, and I'm begging to the skies above. Cool it, girl, my only. Cool it, girl, my only. Cool it, girl, my only love. Cool it, girl, my only. That being said, 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 Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. Tap being set. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being set. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L T. Insight. The legend. Fantastic, Mr. Sam. The dentist. Sneak to the dead. Psychological style host. Get well soon, man. Me or cat. Artistic style host. Tap being set. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being set. Which vest is podcast best? If there was ever meaningful content, it's being produced right here on That Being Said. <laughs> oh craig oh craig how's it going everybody what's up we're here time for the sunday show in the house and i'm joined by as many legends as i could fit in one screen starting with the one the only meerkat mob how you feeling brother come on hit us with it hey what's up everybody it's a sunday we're about to talk about stuff and today is a little bit more special because we're going to do an interview retrospective in a tier list of the some of the fun moments Hell yeah, brother. Also, speaking of brothers, we got another brother here, Atlas the Bookkeeper. Hello. How you hanging, brother? We're hanging and banging, brother. Definitely hanging <laughs> and banging. <laughs> and let's just get it straight. Atlas watched the entire interview yesterday, so you should be on oh, you should be totally ready for this retrospective style content. Am I right? You would think. <laughs> but we'll we'll see we'll see. <laughs> Hell yeah! I don't know why I'm doing this. It was a long one. Hulkamania! I got the hat on, so I gave. I'm in Hulk. I'm in Hulk mode today. Hell yeah! But anyways, we got a lot of fun to get to today. It's been quite the uh, week. On that being said, we have the amazing Ching of the Ring, uh, and let me tell you. During the show, it's much different, you know, because then I was went back and listened to a lot of songs. Like man. 
this was better than I thought, you know? It just really hits, you know? It hits a little different when you're not in the show. And thanks so very much for those fucking... The missions were awesome. Even songs that didn't make the finals, it, it was awesome. So many all good stuff, and uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, on that note, we do have a special style announcement, Meerkat. Business style announcement. Do you want to please officially announce the finals date? Yes. The date of the finals is going to be three weeks from the first round. Uh, so it's going to be on the 4th of April, 2024. Yes. Um, the four, uh, in the normal group thing time slot. So that's going to be it. Oh. And the finalists have to make a new song for the finals and send it to us at any point up until the finals. That should be fine. Even if you do it the day of, it's not a problem. It's cool. Um, and, also, on yeah. that same topic, the official playlist with all of the songs is available. You can find it in the description of this video and also probably in some other places, but go check it out. Go hear your favorite ones from the first round. If you want to see how we graded them, you can go on Twitter, uh, on the <laughs> TBS page, or on mine, or I think whoever posted it, and you can see how we graded each one and who made it to the finals. Yes. And that should do it with business style announcements. Um... I think how we want to start today, America, because we do want to. Have, we have an epic tier list ready for you with the best moments of the interview lined up. We're gonna get our tier list rolling. We want to start with anything from the from this week, though, in particular. What's on your mind? Yeah, well, I, I got a couple of bullet points of slop that happened during this week. There was some very funny moments in the mm. last couple of days, specifically. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna throw some of them on the table. Let's see if you guys have something to say about them. Uh, first of all, uh, Phil and Cat have discovered a new co-op game to play. <laughs> mm. This is going to be a game that is kind of pseudo co-op. It's one of the David Cage movie games. It's called uh, Beyond Two Souls, and yep. they're going to be playing it. Okay, so let me, let me go through the checklist of why this was chosen. First of all, there's no gameplay in this, really, so you can't show much better <laughs> yes. Cat is than him in gameplay. So that, that's first choice. Second choice is it's mostly cutscenes. So you could just sit there and do goat laughs and doesn't take any effort that way either. Uh, anything else, Atlas, I'm missing in the pros for this game? No, that, that basically covered <laughs> all of the bases. Those, that's all the reasons. <laughs> so as usual, the worst possible choice has been chosen by DSP to save the business with Catherine. Uh, and uh, we'll see. I mean, I guess it gives us more cat on screen, which is, you know, it's already really jumped the shark because we know exactly how it's going to go. But hey, you never know. Could be more awkwardness. That could be pretty hype. Uh, Meerkat, any yeah. other any other thoughts from you on this topic? <laughs> um, well, not really, but this is linked to a different topic. Yes. Uh, earlier this week, we had a suggestion box segment where the dude went so fucking toxic on somebody <laughs> suggesting <laughs> how to actually have a co-op with Cat in a very, very, you know, nice way with mm. a very polite suggestion. And uh, hey. thankfully, we have the clip here, uh, courtesy of <laughs> Memology 101. And we're going to take a look at it because it's it's too good not to actually watch mm -hmm. the clip because you, you're not going to get what, what I'm trying to explain if I just try and explain it. So no. let's let's just dive right in. Here we go. Timestamp. Go. What's hilarious about this is I'm just going to read it and I'm going to respond. But people are. Right, I'm just going to read it. Your I streams with on, Kat are meant to be a co-op experience where you two are having fun together. Having Kat play the game while you watch chat is not fun. Not for you two, and certainly not for anyone watching. We want you two to laugh and talk and enjoy being together, rather than Cat grinding through a game mode she's already beaten, and you're screening what questions are asked. You should both. All true. All true. Comments, by the way. I agree with every yep. single fucking one. Yep. Good points. Be active in playing and talking. Uh -huh. That should not be turned away from the mic. You should not Truth. be fielding the questions, yeah. especially for her. The interest in these streams Truth. is Cat and what she brings that is different from a normal stream. She, if she's going yes. to play the game and focus on progress, there's no use in her being there. Yes. If she's going to say nothing or be in a bad mood, there's no use in her being there. I understand you want her to be actively interested in playing the game, but she shouldn't be so interested in it. She's not participating in the social part of the stream. My suggestion is to change your mindset about what a co-op stream with her should look like. <laughs> Instead of looking for a game that you're both super interested in, look for something that is light and fun to play that will spur conversation between you two and should not require a lot of concentration. Ideally, you should find something that is two-player, yep. but something that you can switch back and forth playing, but also acceptable if you can keep the conversation going while playing because there's something like Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon that would be great. The game shouldn't be forced to carry the weight of entertaining the stream. That is what you and See, he got to the point where it really started, it yeah. started hitting hard. 
He started yeah, getting hit yeah. hard, so he has to go to that kind of because he started saying like points you can't deny. That's when you know you're really starting to get him when he goes to that like you know. <laughs> yeah, and, and he's, he's almost acting like he's offended that this feedback is so long uh -huh. because the person that gave him the feedback wanted to explain themselves and why they're giving the feedback <laughs> and you know provide as much context as possible. And this dude starts mocking him because he explained himself too much. It's like, how, how do you even satisfy him with a fucking suggestion? <laughs> don't and the longer the criticism, yeah. the worse yeah. for him it is. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't don't give co co a, a criticism he doesn't like, guys. That's the key. <laughs> That's the key. <laughs> Chatter there to do. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. And these pigs need to grow up. <laughs> Everyone take a step back to get eat breath. <laughs> All right, uh -oh. and realize something. Everyone's just a human, a normal person. All right, not everyone is some kind of a fake persona. That's that it's pretty rough. There. It's pretty rough when you have to start with. Remember, everyone's human. Okay, to we got always that. Be ultra happy. Everyone's to always human. Be enjoying every moment of everything. Uh, the problem is you're used to that uh -oh. because you're so used to being spoon-fed fake shit from streamers and content creators. You don't understand that that's not reality. Okay. Uh -huh. People keep saying, so, why not play It yeah, Takes Two? I, I, I guess his stream is boring, and his co-op with Cat is boring because it's real. And you should appreciate it because it's real and, and boring. Because mm. if it was entertaining, it would be fake, and that would hurt the credibility of the streamer ah, somehow, apparently. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's, rather, yeah, go ahead, Alice. I say we'd rather be much, much more boring and not entertaining because it's it's too real. That's that's what's above oh. everything else, including your entertainment. Is it being real? I'm starting to get it. Okay, I'm on I'm on board. Okay, go ahead. So other streamers that are entertaining are all fake. Got that point. Let's keep moving on. Why not? Because we're not interested. We're not fake. Ah. We're not going to do the co-op stream and pretend to like the game <laughs> just to make a paycheck. That's not what we're all about. Oh, we're not going to sit here and, and fucking waste everyone's time being being. You know characters on a stream that's not the point so it means if you're having fun on a stream with a, with your with a co-op partner that means you're being characters on a stream keep keep that in mind keep your checklist going guys and the fact that you don't get that is kind of disheartening uh, uh, disheartening 16 years of me making content you still can't <laughs> tell that hope. this is really different <laughs> from other content creators who are always over the top, oh. positive about everything, sugarcoating, fucking stars and fucking rainbows and unicorns about everything. Everything's great. And that's how they get all their sponsorships. And that's how they make all their money. But we're not like that. Whoa. I received an incredibly generous tip to start today's stream. Well, I'm glad. Please put me back into a good mood after this, okay? <laughs> Great one. After this awful start. Great one. I received an incredibly generous do $100. Doesn't do it for money, though, guys. Tip. We never put, have been. Put me in a good mood. At least he's being honest. That is what puts him in a good mood, guys. You get it? That's not. He's not like other streamers. That puts him in a great mood. Hell yeah. Never going yeah. to be. But You're it's really get... interesting, though. <laughs> yeah. It's really interesting. Anytime he has a premiere stream, so it's like an episode one of a playthrough, especially when it's a super hype game. He is basically playing a character because he's acting in ways that you don't see him acting in episodes two, three, four, five, and so on. Because mm -hmm. he's singing, he's like wearing some goofy outfits, he's voice acting and all that other shit. So by all means, he is playing a character and uh -huh. he's doing it specifically to appeal to new people that are going to check out his part one of a playthrough. And also, yeah, that that's you see his fake character all the time when he thinks he's getting new viewers. Remember that when he puts on the KO gaming style? Hello, yep. everybody. This is Philip Burnell. Uh, you know, and he tries to really <laughs> fucking beef not fake King of Hate Phil, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. And, and, and during the interview, he admits that the Phil off stream is different from the Phil on stream. So mm -hmm. obviously there is some character work being played there. So he's not being real in yeah, the way admitted. he means he is. He's admitted to being a character, and and th those day one viewers, when they tune into the day one to the day one games, yeah, they get an entirely different experience because he's doing the character, mm -hmm. not real at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> the real us when we do anything together, okay? And so, if we're gonna play a game, we want to find a game that we know is gonna be something that we're both gonna enjoy. And it's hopefully gonna translate into something entertaining for you to watch uh, as well. Uh -huh. But it's not gonna be you know, basically turning it into something so ultra professional and so overproduced. Okay, so now he's equating having fun 
to being over professional, oh no, professional and overproduced, I think. Remember, the question was, why don't you just play a game you don't really care about? You guys have fun together and you don't filter the questions for cat. So now he's saying, though, if I do that, it's over, it's, it's overproduced. Let me get the two things again. No. Basically, turning it into something so ultra professional. And ultra pro now it's ultra professional to have fun on stream <laughs> with your wife. And what's the other one? So overproduced and uh, so ridiculous. Overproduced. Uh, uh, overproduced. Oh, Literally, overproduced. what you just said is you want uh -huh. us to always be playing games where we're uh. both doing co op gameplay together, right? But also, you want Kat to be ultra professional and be nope. looking at the chat herself mm, and reading. Didn't say that, sir. Didn't say that, but sir. We, he, she just doesn't what? need the R word filter on it because she, I don't believe she is R word, <laughs> sir. That's it. But <laughs> why is reading chat and responding to questions that people ask you considered to be ultra professional? Isn't that just like streamer 101? No, no, no. Because if you he's don't want to do it, just do like just nope. do pre recorded videos. Meerkat, that you are assuming fake, normal Meerkat. people. You think normal people can be streamers? Please. The skills required. Let me tell you the skills required. You play a game, and then you can't just play a game. You got to look over two inches to chat, and then you got to respond to them too. Have you ever tried that, Meerkat? It's ridiculous. Uh, no. All right. Yeah. So, Cat clearly doesn't have breed. the skills. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe you're not familiar with this game, sir. <laughs> but that, that's what he's talking about. He's trying to make it seem how streaming is actually hard when what you are doing is playing a game, reading what people say. And commenting on what people say. That's the, that's it. <laughs> and he's saying that Kat can't handle that because she's not professional. Cool. We all agree. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> he's making her look way more stupid than than any of us can insult her for. Because, uh -huh. like, he's supposed to be the guy to make her look great. He's supposed <laughs> to make her look so much better than what she actually is. And at any turn, he makes her look like a bumbling idiot. Yes. Like, she I can't don't know if read. It's Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know if it's him sneak dissing or just outright dissing, but when he says like she can't keep up with chat, like he basically calls her stupid. Like yes. that's that's what I heard, and he oh. didn't even know that's what it came across as. I think. Oh yeah, he has no clue. He for some reason, I think he's been treating her like a two year old so long. He thinks that how she like should be treated, and everyone else should see that as normal too, even though the rest of the universe sees that's not how you should treat your wife. You know, but I think he thinks that's normal now. He's kind of pigmatized himself, like. Me be treating her this way, filtering the questions, that's like, I'm being a good husband here, you know? I'm helping her, you know? And the question's like, what's your favorite food? And he has to pig explain it, like, <laughs> hold on, honey, now, favorite, you know what that means, right? Remember we talked about that in the first period yesterday? Yeah, yeah, favorite, the thing you like. Yeah, yeah, that's it, good job, all right, here's your sticker. That's what he's doing. <laughs> questions and answering every question herself, even though she hasn't literally done a day of streaming <laughs> in how many years? And doesn't do that professionally and doesn't even know how to do professionally it. Professionally answering questions. She's not a professional question answerer like me. Hello? You think she can handle that? Hold on, we got to hear this again. Reading questions and answering every question herself, <laughs> even though she hasn't literally done a day of streaming <laughs> in how many years and doesn't do that professionally and doesn't even know how to do it. Uh, she has problems even like, like you know, catching what, up with the what? chat and stuff. That's why she has me do it. She has problems I'm, catching up but, with the chat. Mm -hmm. But what if this is related more? towards how highly he thinks of himself as a streamer so he thinks that he is so professional and he has so much experience that uh, uh, the simple the, the normal person your your average person cannot handle reading chat or answering questions oh hell and no. you, you also have to consider his chat is slow <laughs> as fuck like yes. you can take you can take three to five business days to answer a question before the next <laughs> message comes through yes well, he, what does he, that say yeah. about other content creators then, though? Because he barely does that and thinks it's this monumental test that normal people can't do. And then there's these other content creators that are doing 10 times that, <laughs> answering all of their own questions, running, you know, a stream that's full of people, <laughs> but they're just shills and they're fake. Like, what did... Yeah. They would be doing more work, no? <laughs> no, please, no, no, no. He's doing his maximum work. If you're every day doing it, it's like, huh. where are you coming from with this? But if we fucking do the stream and all people do is complain about she's not looking at the camera enough and this that, then fuck it. We're not going to do it. Okay. It's stupid. No, you'll you keep are, doing it. You'll keep finding ways to get her on stream. You need the money right now. Being stupid yep. when you're over asking for uh. things that don't make fucking sense. <laughs> Excuse me, it's sir. This was a suggestion box entry. It's kind of, <laughs> you're asking for suggestions. I thought that's how it works. Am I in the wrong place? <laughs> okay. You know, just be real and be, be understanding that. 
it's nice to have someone new and refreshing on the stream. <laughs> new Stop and refreshing. Stop demanding the moment they put a toe on camera because you think that everything <laughs> oh. should be overproduced and over oh, toe on That's camera. That's not life. <laughs> That's the fakers out there who are sugarcoating their shit. Sugarcoating. And advertisements huh? on your throat. What are we coating? That's the fakers out there who are sugarcoating their shit and shoveling advertisements Hell down yeah. your throat. You're so used to it. Uh, you just think but that's wait, wait. life. Yeah, isn't yeah. that is it isn't sugar coating your shit good? Because then you can eat it easier with a spoon and it's gonna yes. taste better. And maybe you try to be entertaining for people. I don't know. Call me crazy, but uh that doesn't matter. The fact that she's there is enough. Stop asking for her to do anything. Stop asking for entertainment, assholes. She's here. That's what he's saying, basically. Well, cool. She's gotta exist in her raw form, or it's not real, obviously. Uh, her raw form is not entertaining. So can't yeah. ask for more than that, I guess. Oh, that's really cool. Good, good, good streaming suggestion. So just because I'm here doesn't mean I have to be entertaining. Please tip. <laughs> Shoving advertisements down your throat. You're so used to it. You just think that's life. Uh -huh, it's that not life. fucking life. Yep. It's not real. Uh -huh. It literally doesn't exist. You're looking at cartoon characters on a stream and you're demanding everyone else acts just like them. It uh -huh. doesn't happen in real life. Okay. It's bullshit. Uh -huh. I can't believe you like the bullshit. Honestly. I love it. Really? Oh, I think God, that is absolutely it. ridiculous that you think that that's something that someone should aspire to have on the he's, stream. It's terrible. He doesn't What's, even know what he's talking about anymore. What what should uh -uh. aspire to have what? What? Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's just it's just autopilot. <laughs> yeah, and the yeah. autopilot is just let's shit on everybody else and talk about how nobody <laughs> understands life the way DSP <laughs> understands life because his life is harder than everybody else's <laughs> life even though it's it's not. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, he talks himself sing. into a frenzy every time. Uh -huh. Completely lost in the sauce once he's going. <laughs> Things up in the chat. You're, you didn't listen to a word that I said. And, and by the way, his whole chat revolted. <laughs> I don't mean me. Me, me showed a little bit. His whole chat was literally revolting on this, saying like, "That's not what he said. That's not what he said." Even the regulars were saying that. But of course, you know. So here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Yep. Literally, they just sit here I'll... and shit on me. I w I didn't have the chat open. I was just talking. Shit on me. I, w I didn't have the chat open. Oh. I was just talking based on what the, what was said, right? I didn't and have the chat open. Idiots coming in here, being toxic and shit, and okay. I'm not paying any attention to it. Toxicity means like, questioning. The here by the way, the toxicity, right? Uh -huh. Oh, we know that he doesn't have the chat open when he's doing this, so let's go ahead and just fucking hit nope. him with a bunch of toxicity. By the way, it's all fucking uh, soccer counts. It was counts premeditated. Too. Look at this. Yeah. This is literally yeah, like wait till he closes his chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all, all right, boys. His chat's closed. Get in there. Probably all the same person. More than likely, it is. Uh, yeah. All now the we same. try to minimize how many larpers there are when it's at least fifty percent. I'm clear. I'm sure of that. Fucking now, it's at least fifty percent larpers in the person. Here you go. Here's another one. Uh, -huh, yep. Here same guy. One. It's only one okay, guy, guys. Uh huh. <laughs> they're all, it's hilarious. They're all random all names. No, no one who's oh, recognizable who we even know from the chat because they're all new accounts. None of them even have profiles, pictures, right? They're all the same fucking person. Yeah, one ridiculous. person, right? So anyway, right, here, right. Allow me to give you my best feedback. Get a fucking life. Ah, good finish. Wow, strong and finish. <laughs> strong this, finish to the is, suggestion box thread. <laughs> this is coming from the guy who, him and his wife, they had to quit doing the Q and A series after two episodes because they don't have enough things to talk about because <laughs> nothing is happening in their life, and he is telling you to get a life. <laughs> This guy. And by the way, they were definitely scrambling here because uh, he said they almost went back to Q&A, I believe he said this week. Like, almost we're done to do Q&A again because it's been like a month. But then they decided to fight that. Like, I want to know how far he was pushing Cat. Like, all right, Cat, we got to find something. How about this? How about this? Please, he said they were agree? talking about it for weeks. Uh -huh. And yeah, when he was announcing it, he really was kind of pushing it out there that they were thinking about another q and I was, I was holding my breath. I don't, I can't do it, man. I just can't take this shit. Please, Cat, agree to something. What the fuck will you agree with? I really need that money. Everything else is failing. <laughs> and by the way, Meerkat, let's see if you agree with this. He, You know, we are quitting Final Fantasy 7, obviously. That's, fuck that yep. shit. That's done. Why is he still playing like a dragon, though, when he has, he's equally low, if not lower, and me and Atlas were talking last night. We think it's because it, he is afraid of offending Catherine because that's her game. You know what I mean? Oh, oh that, <laughs> I, I I was thinking it's because he can have a nap during the night streams and nobody's gonna notice. Because ah. he was straight up sleeping yesterday. He was like this in the chair. At some point, he was like stretching around. He was like actually nodding off. But yeah, you guys we missed got a point. It. We got out too early last uh, night. We didn't get to see the sleeping yep. on stream. The real reason he's out is, as you know, uh, this is the real reason. <laughs>
everybody yeah <laughs> these two ladies are coming up late it, very soon in this playthrough we can't see them that th we can't see them get out of here come on <laughs> too hot <laughs> but anyways i think we're done with this uh, rant here of the uh uh, how cat is it's definitely don't I, I can't remember what he fucking said don't be normal uh ex, why do you you don't want normal people that's what we are normal people and if we're entertaining you might have seen other people be entertaining but that's because they're characters sound good makes sense yeah. makes sense good you know <laughs> uh, my take on the whole um beyond two souls thing is that they kind of they kind of picked the right game i wish they would have picked something by super massive games you know the the house of whatever that was called house of ashes those games because they're better than the david cage games yeah but in these games at least sometimes you get some kind of a narrative choice that you can pause the game and talk to the person that you're playing with because i've done this with my girlfriend it's a lot of fun because you get to discuss like what what do we pick and where does the story go from there so it's it's pretty engaging i still think they're gonna fuck it up and it's it's gonna be nowhere near as entertaining as i imagine it but they're on the right track kind of Okay, a few questions for you that if you play the game. Is there any sexual style scenes of any kind? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's good. Uh, do they show any... Is there any kind of lesbian style, gay style scenes? I don't remember. Uh, I, okay. I know there's an attempted rape, because David Cage uses that to garner sympathy for his characters. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. I think there's a shower scene, if I if I recall correctly. Okay, okay. So those are, those yes. are going to be highlights. We got to see what he, how he, he reacts to those. <laughs> is there any, like, even, like, the most pure of pure date scenes? Because those are also great, when someone that has never done that has to watch him with his wife that he supposedly does that with. Anything like that we should look forward to? Just normal date-style scenes? <laughs> yeah, there, there's some romance stuff. There was a, a level where half of the level is just, like, cleaning your house, so you you use a ghost to clean your house it's it's really weird it's like a time filler segment ah okay but, okay <laughs> yeah it's gonna be interesting watching him play that game <laughs> well we'll see that uh, who knows when that's gonna start is that on the schedule yet i don't fucking know who checks the damn schedule um but yeah this oh i checked yeah. the damn schedule i can tell you all about it oh please because it's uh <laughs> off the top of my head he is playing two games all week and that's baldur's gate 3 oh, come on and uh, yep. the yakuza game come on because now he is, uh, I guess he's calling it like the big push to finish all the, the RPGs, the RPG overload. Yes. And yeah. he's just playing this until it's over. And dude, he said on his, literally, on I posted on Twitter, he said, I'm going to get some, it's, I gotta need to make some changes, guys, to get things fresh and feeling <laughs> new around here. And the announced changes are Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon Week. Those are the fresh and yep. new changes. Pretty cool, dude. Uh, very fresh. Got very rid new. of Tekken 8. Final Fuck Fantasy that. 7 and Band World. Let's just take the two games that are running the longest and cram them down your throat till they're over. Sound, <laughs> sounds good to me. And he, he, he picked the two combinations because Like a Dragon nets him 15 bucks, but Baldur's Gate, it still has that one dude that endlessly is bankrolling it. Like it's, uh, you know, extremely dented of, you know, a uh, gaming drive or something. It's a charity drive, you know? <laughs> Phil plays yeah. Baldur's Gate. This guy gives him Baldur's Gate money. That's, that's really how it works. Everything's down, and he knows it though, because the views are down on Baldur's Gate three. Like, you know, we used to joke about on DSP throwback, he can't get three hundred views. That's true on DSP gaming on Baldur's Gate yep. videos. <laughs> I can give you a direct <laughs> quote from him in chat yesterday. Oh please, uh, very funny. Yeah, it's a. I, I like to call that a diary entry. So he ah. says, Baldur's Gate is a double-edged sword. The streams get great support, but overall, the playthroughs views have massively dwindled. Nobody is watching it on demand, and that's a huge part of the channel. Uh, Hence, what? views go down, profits go down, etc. <laughs> and although tips are great during uh. Baldur's Gate 3 streams, we rarely get super chats or members because it's just the same people supporting it daily. So overall, the channel is down. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not, not wrong about that. February, uh, numbers-wise, was the lowest viewed month of all time for DSP Gaming. Uh, just for comparison, for comparison uh, terms, uh, in 2023, he had 650,000 views uh, in DSP Gaming. February of 2024, he had less than 500,000. Uh, if yes. you want to go even farther back, uh, he had 700,000 views in February 2023. Uh, and I can't go back farther than that. But it's, it's lowest viewed month of all time was last month. The downward, the downward trend continues on the view side of DSP g -g -g Gaming. Um, so, 
Anything else we need to talk about this week before we open up the most epic tier list of all time? Yes. Uh, three more things. I'll speed run through both Please, of them let's and go. see maybe oh, you yeah. guys have something to say. Uh, Battlefront 2, he played it. It was terrible. The game itself is not good. You know, the, the remaster, whatever, re, re-release, whatever the fuck, yep. is terrible. And mm-hmm. uh, he played it for one day stream. It was some of the worst gameplay I've ever seen. Yes. Uh, and then instead of doing it on the night stream, he did a two hour Q&A. Then yesterday he was super salty about the speculations of a PS5 Pro coming out. For some reason, he got really angry about this. And the highlight of yesterday is that um, low tier God got banned from Tekken 8 for basically unplugging his internet, which caused the matches to fail and you know <laughs> nobody gets anything out of it. Uh-huh. Um, so he called him a bitch and he called him a plugger. And it was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. I wouldn't have done that one. <laughs> I know you don't want to. You don't want to go after the, the LTG anymore, dude. Just not. Don't. But he actually, you know what he's doing. He's trying to bring out this. He's trying to build some smoke around him and LTG. So LTG has to comment, and then he's being the opposite of what he says. He's not a drama streamer. He's trying to get drama. Um. Uh, I do want to say that Battlefront gameplay that he played for the the one day stream was unironically some of my favorite DSP gameplay in a long time. Oh. I was I was laughing so hard at the <laughs> gameplay because he was just abysmal. You'd think he'd never played the game before. <laughs> yes, well, I did not see he was that like, yet. Um, but... He was throwing grenades and then they would ricochet against the wall and they would hit like four people from his team. And the friendly fire was off, so they didn't deal damage, but they they threw everybody all over the place. So people were just flying. <laughs> Great, very cool, very cool. Just one of the day one views, but for that game, by the way, uh, nothing else. We'll not be continuing that. I know everyone says the game sucks, but it's still funny. He wanted to play it one time, even though he heard it was shitty. I think he said in chat that I already bought it, so I might as well play it. But yeah. That's why he played it, because he already bought it. Uh-huh. And he couldn't refund it, so instead of waiting to see if it's actually good, um, he just pre-ordered it, and then he was forced to play it. Yep. Yeah, well, he can't get the refund. I'm surprised he didn't at least play the campaign on the night stream, just for variety's sake, but we got the Q&A, so I guess that's good enough. Yeah. Anyways, next, next point, Meerkat, from the day. Um, I guess that's it. All that's right. pretty much it. The whole plugger rant was uh, was very funny uh, about LTG because he he tried to make it like he was insulting everybody who used that strategy to get away with you know losing games, but you know he was just talking about LTG, and I I hope because LTG is a bitch, he yes. is uh, using mm, these strategies fair. to like avoid, and he deserved to get banned, and I'm happy he did. But I would also hope that he would check out the clip of DSP uh, calling him a plugger and would respond <laughs> to it. That would be very funny. <laughs> uh, there we go. So that, what a week. That, yeah, it's kind of like whatever week in terms of stuff. A few, few hype moments, but you know. Uh, let's get to the... Speaking of this week, though, historically was an amazing week. Yesterday was the one-year anniversary of the interview, so I do want to get to our tier list of our favorite moments. Before we get to that, though, let's clear out the shout-outs, because I do appreciate every shout-out legends out there. AMAC, Uno in the house, says, here's to a su- successful stream. Big ups. Thanks so much, AMAC. Uh, Jay Wusso in the house says, Battlefront Failure Friday really saved the business for the ghoul that's too cool for business school. Hey yo. Damn. Here you go. I get it. Big up Smortem for the resub, Lemonhead for the resub, Forever 901 TN for the resub, Nugs Medallion, Aya is awkward, Elk in the house says, it's easy. It's easier to hate him because he doesn't want to change. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wesley in the house says, Phil describes co-op playthroughs like his happiness matters most and not viewers' enjoyment experience. He deserves nothing but failure. That's what he's pretty much saying. Let us have fun, and you guys like it too. If you have any, if you question that, you see what happens. What's wrong with you? Recalibrate, brother. Ira in the house says, 15-year-old self-proclaimed professional being asked to adhere to basic standards. We aren't professionals. <laughs> Great point. Yeah, yeah. We aren't professionals, but he'll tell you, <laughs> I've been doing this for 15 years. You know, I'm making a living at this for so long now. <laughs> Big ups. Danny. It, it, yeah, go ahead, Meerkat. For for some reason, it's apparently Kat's fault that they can't be professional, as if, you know, he can't like teach her how to read the message 
in the chat because <laughs> yeah. apparently she wants to be on stream, right? She wants to have fun. Uh, then why not help her and teach her how this works instead yes. of just coming up with reasons why she can't do it? And she knew how to. She streamed herself, as everyone knows. Chaos Realm yeah. One was a streamer, and she loved the fucking chat, dude. She got giddy when there was someone in that chat because I know she was streaming to zero people most of the time, and that yep. fucking sucks, obviously. But when they had one person in chat, she w she lit up, dude. She was having actual fun. Which is something we don't yeah. see anymore. But back then, she was having fun. <laughs> and she had like yeah. a return viewer one time, and she was loving that, you know? And she had fun, dude. She had fun. She can handle fucking chat. Uh, Danny in the house yeah. says, no By the way, yeah, um, go ahead, blip. real quick, do not stream for zero viewers. It's, it's reductive. It's not helping you. It's not helping your confidence, and it's not helping your uh, career as a streamer. Uh, before before you even want to stream, you need to like I guess do YouTube videos or something to at least get some people to show up. Because oh, otherwise, that would be you're just my recommendation. not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah make, exactly. Make stuff in other ways, and then say, "Hey, check out my stream this day." But anyways, that was a long time ago. We're talking about six or seven years ago <laughs> yeah. when Chaos Realm was go running wild on uh, Twitch. Uh, Daddy in the house says, "No, Jade, Godzilla didn't appear yet." Highlight. Oh yeah. So Phil, in his brilliance last night, we heard this Atlas said like, "It's yeah, it's really weird. Like uh, in like a dragon there in Japan, but they haven't referenced Godzilla yet. Godzilla, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if you have a game in got in Japan, you have to have Godzilla. Like he's coming. It's just when. <laughs> so, it's a yeah. law. It's yeah. <laughs> that got to be in there. Yeah." What? <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> legit, legitimately, he said this. He said, "Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, like a dragon never referenced Godzilla because I mean." They're in Japan, all these Jap Japanese references, but there's no Godzilla yet, huh? Like, it's just, you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. Uh, big up, so well swayed for the resub. AB for the resub. Mario Faker says, one minute man is game trekker. Good find last night, by the way. And yes, Meerkat, we found a Q&A question from game trekker in 2012 on Ask the King. Can you believe it? 2012 wow. and question from Game Cooker. Big ups, James. Was, yeah, go ahead. Was Game Trekker the guy whose mom was in some kind of a cult? Which I think I think it was Piece of Peace that uncovered this. It's absolutely hilarious, by the way. Yes. I'm not sure if it's him or somebody else. I I'm not so up on my dance. Hate Army says yes. Everyone's saying yes, and I believe you. They're, the Crucible. Yeah, the yeah. Crucible. Yeah. The Crucible. <laughs> hell yeah. The Crucible. <laughs> Shit was the best. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> the Crucible. Yeah, so that was uh, Game Trekker. He's been following DSP now for at least 11 years. Uh, big Crazy. ups, Lord Kane, 666. DSP has the dented force. It'll make you regard it. Go The dent force, says Lord Kane, 666. Okay. With that said, let's get to our epic, epic style tier list coming at you here. And um, let me get here. Okay, so here's our tier list, and we're going to go through the moments, and then we're going to put them up on the board. Big ups to Meerkat for suggest for collecting all of these legendary timestamps for us, and we're going to see yeah, where uh, they go. Yep, go ahead. I, I guess a quick disclaimer. Please. These are curated moments. Uh, it's, it's not objectively the best moments, mm. and, you know, ranking them is kind of, you know, superficial, I guess, yes. because they all are really fun. Uh, but it gives us a reason to talk about them and to discuss uh, what happens, so it should be a fun time. That one. Let's do, um, what is a day like for you? Let's start light, you know? Let's start pretty light. What is a day like for you? Let's go. And play. What, what is a, um, what's a day like look for you? Uh, like, what, when you wake up, what is it, what is your average day like? Walk me through a day Ooh. of Phil. <laughs> Okay. Like when you from from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. So this was Craig's sideways way of asking. You know, he says he's always so busy. This is a way to yeah. kind of ask that in a kind of ch more chill way. Not saying like you say you're so busy. Why are you so busy? It's just a sideways way to ask that. To how uh, Phil handles yeah. it. Usually, Can you, uh, usually my yeah. cat. Be, be, because I know you had a certain level of involvement in the mm -hmm. preparation to the interview. Can yes. you bring that up again and explain to the viewers? Okay, so Craig, uh, I, I think Craig reached out and said, you know, I'm, I'm trying to talk to distractors. Do you want to talk to, uh, he wants to talk to us on the short show. And I said, yeah, I'll do it. So then we scheduled it and he finally said, let's do it the day before the interview. He had time. I was like, okay, cool. We did that. 
So we talk about that, and then it was clear that Craig had a plan already. And the plan of that was that they, they really wanted to get to this. They, they all knew Champions is real, right? They knew Champions is real. They already believed it. They were saying, how can we do this? So they kind of wanted to give Phil a chance to admit to it. Like, that was definitely something they had in their mind, right? And my advice for that was, you know, um, you know just try to, you know, bring up all the evidence, see what they say. But more important than that, Philip that day uh, said, guys, I'm going to go in the interview. What are some questions you want them to ask, right? So that's what I took that entire list and said, all right, Craig, all these questions, you can't ask any of these because that's the ones Phil is getting his little pre, pre-stream questions for. So just forget about all these and find new ways to ask about things that he's not ready for because that's when we get the inter- interesting stuff. So then we kind of talked about how that might look like. And, you know, it, it really wasn't all me, though. Craig, they all, I could tell right away that they were prepared as fuck. For the interview. And he said that um, uh, Adam Krigler was going to be there. I didn't know who Adam Krigler was at the time. But clearly, that turned out to be the right fucking decision. You know? Because Adam Krigler made it in a lot of ways to question Phil. Because he didn't know anything about it. Uh, and then, you know, I kind of... They, they already knew that uh, Blabs wouldn't be there. The other guy wouldn't be there. They wanted to be just Craig and him. Go, you know, and Phil. And that was the right move. Basically, I just kind of tried to make sure we don't ask things he's ready for. That was really my only advice. And uh, they had a plan, and they executed the fucking plan beautifully. Um, so, all props to them, none to me. I just made to make sure we don't ask the same fucking things that he's ready for. So, you know, try to find new ways to ask about this stuff, and that, that was fucking it. That wakes me up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I get out of bed. We're a saint for that, the by the way. <laughs> you know, no, 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 no. Person, you know, shower or eat breakfast, have a coffee, do chores around the house quick. You know, depends on the day, because some days my wife's at work, some days she's not. Uh, you know, jump into the office here. So I, I you know, time wise, you know, I probably get up between eight and nine a.m. every day. Um, <laughs> I get into the office X, usually X. between ten ten thirty a.m. Uh, I'm setting up for my stream for the day. I'm, I'm I'm reading news off of Twitter to try to have news stories for everyone to talk about on my podcast. It's already fishing. I'm opening up the stream. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> Looking at Twitter uh, for the show, I mean. Uh, uh, but, but, but I, I walk into the office. Uh, I, I look at the computer. Uh. Um, my stream usually goes on by 10.45 a.m. my time. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, we do a little bit of pre-stream, you know, get some people on the stream for about 15, 20 minutes, play some music or whatever. Oh, and yeah. then I do what I call the Level 1 Podcast. This is about an hour to an hour and a half long show where it's just discussion. And it could be a wide variety of topics, whether it's my gaming schedule uh, for the next week, whether it's special <laughs> events coming up, getting feedback from my viewers on how do you like the, the things I'm currently doing, news stories, all kinds of stuff. This is something I just started about a year to a year and a half ago <laughs> that I didn't used to do, and I realized this is meaningful that I should be doing. This is a content. plug segment so for podcast, sure, too. The podcast ends around 12.30ish Pacific time. Adam's checking then out. Maybe take another few minutes break, then we start with gameplay. So we'll do about Adam's three like, man, this, maybe this is a bad idea. Games are, as we talk, they're wide he talks for so long with no like breaks. Day, I'll, I'll post it up everywhere on my socials so people know what I'm doing. Post on um, my socials. Will usually run up three, four hours. Then when that's done, I have to upload all that content. So, you know, another half an hour, roughly, setting up uploads or whatever. Setting up uploads, half an hour. <laughs> home from work. I'll spend about an hour with my wife. Uh, just to reference that maybe not everyone knows YouTube, I uploaded... How many videos did I upload today from the King of the Ring? Maybe eight... And it takes, copy them all, drag them into YouTube, change the tags, maybe 15, if I'm going slowly. It's not just 30 minutes of setting up the uploads like you're like a construction worker. Got to set up these uploads, boys. Hang on. Got to get the scaffolding. (laughs) Hang on. Oh, here we get this upload over here. (laughs) Tons of preparation required. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Having dinner, uh, you know, running errands around the house. Again, depends on the day. With anything I could squeeze between streams, I'm right back on stream again. Around uh, what six, does that mean? Six, How many errands do you run around your house, Atlas? I know you're a household operator. Uh, how many yeah, errands do you um, run around your house, like delivering mail? Uh, what are you doing um, to errands in your house? <laughs> I can't. I can't think of one because he already said chores, which is a different thing. I don't. Yeah. You pay the gas bill ah. at the at the door. Or? Ah, okay, maybe that. Yeah. yeah. The, this whole segment is just him trying to justify how busy he is. And it's just like, he's listing stuff. It does, it's not necessary that he does it. It's just that he, he has to say that he does. Otherwise, <laughs> he seems like he's not doing anything all day outside of streaming, which is the reality. 
Like, what human being would say, what do you do yesterday? You say, like, oh, yeah, I w walked to the office, um, did some errands around the house, I did chores around the house, you know. Like, this is not a normal human being speak already. 6.30. But let's see what they ended up sense. Um, and I'm streaming again for this another like, two to three hours. You're not streaming again? For, can you believe it? Yeah, for, sorry. <laughs> for, for, like, regular people, especially people that work from home, you don't include having lunch or going to the bathroom <laughs> as as part of your schedule because you know that's like normal stuff everybody does you yeah. have lunch when you're at work anytime you go to the bathroom anytime you wash your dishes anytime that's a normal person thing you don't need to like talk about doing it yes i like that zombie uh i oh manticore phoenix i i breathed in and then i breathed out yeah. <laughs> then i took a step and then what gotta take another step all right, then I'm walking up the steps. Then I got to take a break on the ottoman. That's about 10 minutes. Then I've done my break. <laughs> Walk to the office. Well, Jasper's looking someplace to shit. Could clean up the litter. Nah, do that later. <laughs> All right. So All right. the, the yeah. reality, yeah. I would describe his day from, from what I know about him as roll out of bed, go to the office, sit and chat for a little bit, play music for 30 minutes, do a stream. Yes. Get out of bed, uh, get out of the office, office, eat something, sit around, fuck around, not get anything done, go back, do another stream, and then go off and have fun with your wife or whatever. So technically, the two things you do is you have two streams a day and everything else is just free time. <laughs> You're leaving out the bagel and coffee every morning, Meerkat. That's super oh, time, yes. time consuming. I want to hear how he ends this because I think he says like, oh, by the way, I like how he defiantly says like, then I'm back on stream again. Like he's saving the world, you know. Oh, I can't I'm back on stream again, dude. Can you believe that? That's again. Two of them. He is, he acts like he's like some like slave to the man when he makes the schedule himself, you know? Oh, then I get wouldn't you believe it? I'm back on stream again. By the kindness of my own heart. These the late night streams are more chill streams. What I say uh, is chill. the daytime streams are more let's say there's a major new game coming out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, in a few weeks we got Resident Evil. What? Actually, okay. Resident Evil Not even talk about schedule zone, anymore. Time we frame. So I play <laughs> you just want to relax with Phil. Come to my late night stream. Oh. That's like six forty five PM every day. <laughs> And I, want to relax. I want to relax with Phil. Three hours. Oh. And it's just chill gameplay. It's not about the gameplay. It's about me talking with my audience. And if there's gameplay, great. We'll advance with the game. But it's more just relaxing. Okay. And then when that's Are we done, done yet? The day setting up streams for the next. I'm probably out of my office. Upload. Wait, what, what is he doing after this stream? Look at him. He's like, oh, let me think of all the things I do after yeah, the night stream. Uh, and then when that's super done, busy, you know, that though, stream obviously. probably runs till around 9, 9.30 p.m. Then I got to upload. And then, of course, I'm closing down for the day, setting up streams for the next. Closing probably, down closing for the down. day. <laughs> <laughs> got to take the chairs down, you know, put the chairs up. Got to vacuum. Got to get up the, the windows, pull uh -huh. the little chain down. <laughs> The shutters Flip down. The, closed yeah. side. Do, 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 the shutters. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, dude. Closing is tough. I'll give I'll give a, a props for that. Closing is tough. Out of my office <laughs> between ten to eleven p.m. So all in all, <clears throat> you know, we were talking work day wise. My work day starts roughly around 9 30, 10 a.m. and ends around 10 to 11 p.m. Then after but that, no, maybe no, it doesn't. You talked about all this other shit you're doing during your, you know, I guess that's all counts for his work day, I guess. But yeah, go ahead, Mirka. So he works, <laughs> what, 12 hours a day? Is that what I'm supposed to believe? Yes, that's you what are. he's trying to say. Yes. <laughs> that, that, yes. <laughs> Obviously. Hello. 12 hours a day. <laughs> have an hour to spend with my wife and relax at night. Uh, you know, watch the, watch a movie, watch a TV show or whatever. You know what? And uh, I, yeah. I want to give credit to Craig because if you pay attention to his faces throughout the, the entire duration of the stream, he never cracks up. And I, uh -huh. I would have been laughing in this man's face if I heard this fucking clown show. This motherfucker trying to explain that this is how busy his life is. He works 12 hours a day. Craig, Craig knew he had to stay on at least the neutral side, and I think he did that very beautifully. Did not question too much. He let Adam do the bad cop. I'm going to be the neutral guy. Your friend from SGC, remember? You know, that kind of... He did that yeah. beautifully. Uh, you know, and then There's definitely some the faces house. in there where you can tell he's trying to, like, look in intent and, like, uh, focus, <laughs> yeah. but he's really confused as hell. Yeah. He's like, what? He's covering his mouth now for a reason, you know? Like, okay. <laughs> yep, 12 hours. Got it. Mm -hmm. 12 hours. <laughs> then on to the next day, and that's six days a week. Whoa! Uh, oh, one day a damn. week, I take Tough off. schedule, dude. You should talk to your boss about that. Oh, yeah, you're the boss. Oh. 
oh, okay. streaming cool. and content creation. Uh, and that day that? is essentially every possible week I take off from streaming and content creation. One day, uh, guys. And that day is essentially every possible thing you can think of <laughs> that I need to cram into Easy one day. You count that high. Whether it looks like this. Grocery uh -huh. shopping, doctor's appointments, two, running errands. Three. Uh, everything you think of. Hmm. Oh, by the way, that's... <laughs> He already said to those uh okay uh shopping doctor's appointment errands those first two are errands as well errands everything else you could think of <laughs> just <laughs> throw it in there slap that okay we got to stop with the segment though we'll be here all fucking day we got the point <laughs> we got the point is that fair meerkat yeah. can we move on we will be here all day oh yeah this. i mean I, I i think so we got the the gist of it yeah <laughs> okay so the question is what's a day like for you uh, i'll start with this one this was a uh, very funny, as you can see, but I'd, I'd start with a, a strong C. Uh, what do you think, Atlas? I, I was leaning B. I think it's kind of mid-tier. I think it's really interesting, his day segment, because he likes to sound like he does hard labor all uh -huh. day. I'm a big fan. <laughs> all right, Meerkat, you settle this. I said C, Atlas uh, is B. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle. I, I agree with ALT on a strong C. I also agree with Atlas on a B, so <laughs> okay. anywhere it goes is, is fine. I win. I'm, I'm controlling the stream. All right, yeah, I'll ALT control. takes it. The United States of ALT. All right, next up, let's go to, uh, let's go to, let's try to mix it up time-wise. It's not a good chronological order or anything. Uh, let's go to, um, uh, I want to kind of, okay, let, uh, I, I lied. I'm going to do a little bit of chronological. Let's do, this is just a classic one too. Once, I'm not going to spoil it for you. We'll know right way. Making dumb go. jokes instead of actually making meaningful content. So I love what my is, job now. What does meaningful mean? What does that like? Walk me through. What does that mean? Do you feel like you're like? Is this? You say you have your your audience is your friends, right? You feel like you have a, a now. I've seen clips of you say that that you know your audience is not your friends, right? So like, is it? Are they your friends or are they not your friends? Are they? <laughs> <laughs> because you're kind of speaking of, uh, you know, mm -hmm. just based off clips I've seen. Sure. Um, sure. You're kind of speaking of both both sides. I of your love mouth. the soy voice. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure. He brings that up multiple times during the whole stream. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. Here. I'm both with my the bobblehead too, too the whole uh, time, just up yeah. and down, up and yeah. down. Uh -huh. Sure. Most personal friends. I'm not going to come on stream and tell you about super important behind the scenes stuff in my life you know what i'm saying at the same you do time, though <laughs> yeah you do all, though you do all the time <laughs> <laughs> Only when I, I, negative, I would say though. a bankruptcy <laughs> a bankruptcy is a very personal and private thing that should be kept behind the scenes and uh -huh. i'll just go and make a whole clown show out of it yeah it's saving your house uh, because you don't make enough money i mean that could be private as well know that your finances are going that bad but no you definitely bring it up when you need the money so really cool they're very positive and chill here six days a week. Oh, this is my this is my social oh. interaction outside of my wife and the one day a week that I leave this house to to, to do stuff when I'm not streaming. <laughs> this right here, this laptop, <laughs> this chat is my social okay. interaction. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like going to the supermarket and and talking to the cashier, that's not a social no, interaction. I mean, no. technically, technically it does count, but <laughs> not not in this context. It's not like you're not socializing with them. So even that doesn't count. So all we have left is cat who is as we know an extremely sociable extroverted person oh, definitely. and we have jade and chad and Derek. <laughs> yes Those... and sometimes canadian kirk when he's not banned for racism uh -huh. and that a great is... company i love how he just yeah. admits this so freely like this is a positive thing to say like look at him he this points at the laptops this is my social outlet oh, fuck. dude if he wants to garner sympathy, there is no limit to how much he's willing to degrade himself, to make himself look like the most pathetic piece of shit. If that <laughs> means you're going to be on his side and you're going to feel bad for him and something good's going to happen out of you feeling bad for him. For example, uh, you you send him money, for example. That's a good fucking point. Yep. <laughs> when I'm not streaming, this right here, this laptop, this <laughs> chat is my social action, interaction oh, with the God. world. It's just, and so, that's just so that sad. That, that's me. how he's willing to just be. Uh-huh. Like, just say it. Like, just saying that. Like, not proudly, but he's... I mean, he definitely... Like Meerkat said, it's for a motive. But fuck, man. This is my social interaction, guys. Hello? Being this is all I people. have. This uh -huh. is me. Like, that's... Wow, dude. That's it? That's all we got? That's, you know, as if you were... You know, you go to your place of work. 
Hi, how you doing? Your coworkers, right? You walk in. Oh, you hang those out are coworkers. It's kind of what it, it kind of feels like a camaraderie. <laughs> um, uh, what? Regulars, and you know, there's people who come in and out. All so the time. he's he's equating coworkers who are doing the same job as you, making money. You know, as his his chat is kind of like coworkers. I didn't hear that. I don't remember. But that. Yeah, they handhold him and get through the gameplay with him. They basically are. Ah. Uh, they're part of the stream. Uh, who, they just I don't hope, get paid. You see. Oh fuck! That's the problem. God damn it! Kind of feels like a camaraderie. But they they also um, work for him because they provide him with with all the feedback and everything necessary. And also, they're the customers. So they're ah. on, on every level of the business they participate. They're everything. <laughs> oh, damn. It's them-centric, in fact. They're the yeah. main focus. Yeah. And, they, and something fucks up, they're the one to blame, too. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> with regulars. And, oh, you know, there's uh. people who come in and out all the time, and that, that's the nature of the beast. But um, oh, I, beast. I really do feel like today, it's more meaningful what I do. There's, again... Back in the day, but what is say, meaningful? I loved your content because I got a laugh today watching your rage. Today uh, it's like Phil. Let me tell you something. Uh -oh. Something horrible happened in my life, and I came by your stream <laughs> and I hung out with you for two hours today. You were playing Oblivion. We talked. I helped you with the game. We had fun conversation about something going on on the internet. At the end of that stream, I felt so much better. Uh -huh. You know, I, it was when you caught when you did that black joke with that black coffee and the black gentleman. I lo I loved it. My mom died. I didn't give a shit anymore. <laughs> A change in my life. When you told me you needed help with your taxes, I was like, wow, that's far more important than whatever I had going on. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I also, it could be I, that. Also, I, I love this logic because according to this logic, what we do, the filthy, disgusting cyber bullies, is also meaningful. Matter of fact, is more meaningful to more people because we have a, a larger platform than he does. Uh -huh. So oh, technically, yeah. the trolls are more meaningful than Phil is. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, if you I appreciate uh, yeah. all of the detractors. Hell yeah. I get emails all the time. People got the legs cut off at work, but they watched one group think and they got felt better. And that what? really meant something <laughs> to me. That meant a lot to me. You know, <laughs> they they heard it's emails one. like this. <laughs> Let me read it for you right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a, a, a fun, meaningful experience to me. And when people give me that feedback, that lets me know that what I'm doing is worthwhile. With all the oh. hate and all the shit that gets thrown at me every day, uh -huh. that what I'm doing is meaningful. I don't. Since I've become a full-time streamer and I've taken ownership of who I am <laughs> and the content I put out, rather than just making dumb jokes. Question was, what does meaningful mean, sir? Kayla, could you get to that, or <laughs> we don't have to keep talking about yourself here? All I right. feel like now it's like an ask the, the king. It really life. is. He's uh -huh. never <laughs> getting to the question. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds crazy well, or not. They, they, they are technically asking the king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> and I love it. It helps me. You know what I mean? It's like kind of reciprocating back oh. and forth. Oh, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, to me, God smacked. <laughs> <laughs> that silence is so amazing. <laughs> They're like, holy shit, man. <laughs> well, I, I know he might say it's like reciprocating, but to me it seems like a game of telephone. He tells them that what he does is meaningful, and they repeat it back to him. And it's just like, it's basically an echo chamber. That's what it is. And if you say something different, then you're obviously a troll in your sock account, and he knows exactly who you are and who mm -hmm. you watch. So you, you don't belong here. Oh, God. All right. Listen to this silence. I know you can't hear silence, but you can feel it right here. Watch this. Back and forth. Okay. <laughs> Let's, um... <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Didn't expect that level of uh, delusion, but okay. We'll move forward positively. All right. We, to move on, I'll let you go first this time. Where the where does meaningful mean, Meerkat? Where are we putting this at? <laughs> oh, meaningful. I would say A, because meaningful right. is one of my favorite DSP memes, and now he gets to explain it in front of an audience that ended up being like hundreds of thousands of people and the reaction from craig and adam of the just like the deafening silence is fantastic i love it it's an a for me i was gonna say b as well oh you said a excuse me you said a i was gonna say b but with that a i would say low a atlas you settle the tie a or b atlas decides i'm going a all I'm right going a, i'm going an a <laughs> we got our first a what does meaningful mean which is a great one and he didn't even answer it so that's the best part uh, his answer was, I get emails sometimes, and they like me. All right. Uh, next up, let's get to a great moment. I think it's better if I don't spoil it first. Watch and enjoy. You know, they don't love what they're doing. 
It's because they saw dollar signs and they but want Phil, to monetize as much as it sounds they can. like projecting right now. Yeah, but Phil, 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 you, you just said, you just said a few <laughs> minutes ago, and I mean this with all sincerity, man, you, you're, you're, you said just a few minutes ago, the reason why you still do this is because you, you can make more money than a nine to five job, right? And, and it's, it, right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, like, that, that's a pretty big half, you know? And, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. It just, it doesn't seem, it, it seems like when, when you're asking your audience for money consistently, look, Adam and I have both worked with people who, who like the worst thing you can do is, is, is value is look at your audience as a dollar, as a dollar. Right? <laughs> and and this his, is something that look at his naughty. Think, He's been, this is, uh, what is this? What, what axis is this? This is not quite the X. I'm not sure this is the X axis only. No Y involved. As a dollar. Boom. Right? <laughs> Boom. And, Boom. And this is something that, that I don't have a whole lot of, you know, I've left companies over this, right? Um, and this is something that I. The I Z don't, axis, yes. I don't agree with. But no, it's not the Z axis because uh, <laughs> real life isn't in 3D, as uh, DSP knows. So yeah. we only add the X and the Y. Okay, okay, got it. When money comes in and yes. you reach a goal. Yeah, yeah. Let's say you reach a goal and you put on your vest or whatever. <laughs> How are you taking that money and are you are you reinvesting it into your content? <laughs> are you reinvesting it into cameras? Are you uh, doing Good special joke. streams outside of um, outside of uh, just your day to day gameplay stuff? What are, what what value are you adding by people? I, I mean, I get you have to pay bills. I get it, right? But what value are you adding to your to your audience's experience to further that meaningful relationship that you? I'll that answer that one offering? for you, buddy. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we've had big goals. Like, for example, I'll answer that um, one for you. <laughs> if we hit a monthly members goal on YouTube, we hit a sub goal on Twitch. Now, instead of just doing our normal routine gameplay. I do an interactive event with the viewers oh. and we'll talk for a series of weeks. What do you guys style. want to see? Oh. Do you want to see a big react event? Do you want to see a special party atmosphere? We just did one uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was a Super Bowl event. I never. What is what is a react event? event? What is what does that mean? <laughs> is it just you watching stuff? Or? You're going to love this. It, well, react would be, for example, let's say there's a, a documentary, a long form documentary out there that people really want to see me react to. OK, it's with two hours. Right. But for me to react to it, it's going to take like three, four hours. Well, that's going to take a major chunk out of my my normal schedule to do you know people also don't want to be get backlogged on the games that i'm playing but you hit that event now we're going to do special things you know this big react event it's separate from all my other content a lot of times it's hyped up we, we set special things around it that i normally wouldn't do uh, yes some of that money gets reinvested uh, i have a series i know this sounds stupid but my fans love this so called, let's make our let's make even my fans look stupid because okay I, like i like i do here let's my fans love this they're fucking idiots so you're gonna love this but here we go feasting with the king basically i order a meal and i eat a meal with my audience they think it's funny because they think it's funny to see me eat i look stupid they say i look like i'm, I'm in pain what? when i eat they like making fun of me right <laughs> his, by the way that total looking like i'm in pain when i eat his fans don't say that there's no one, that's an, yeah. that's us thing <laughs> there's one group of people that does that that say that but I, I, this is so odd just making your fan well, i mean his fans don't give a shit but i mean making him look stupid as shit by the way, imagine you're a real fan of him, and you're like, ah, my fans, they're fucking dumb, dude. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what they like. They like when I eat food. Really crazy. Fucking idiots, dude. <laughs> That's what he's saying in just a lighter way. You know? But, all right. Yeah. Real cool. Go off, man. Cool. You're still, the king. You're st oh, sorry. still using the king moniker, I, I see. Right. Uh, the king of hate. Not well, the king of hate, that's the thing. It there's, doesn't there's matter. You, you say the king, <laughs> and you know that, that's what it was. So people are going to make that connection. You're 100% right. correct. And I need to, the thing is, I, should, I do need to try to fully phase it out. Feasting with the king and Ask the King are two leftover shows <laughs> oh. or events that I do that have the king moniker in them. Very cool. So, so hard to just change the name. Out, uh -huh. re rename, but You're absolutely you right. Things that have been running I'll for consider stuff, that with the council. Pushback. Like, don't change it. We love it. It's been like that for uh -huh. so long. Those are my those are my true fans saying that, not my haters, you know. But you're right. You're right. I agree there. Okay. Um, what? All but right. anyway, no. Yes, I try my best to reinvest, you know. There was <laughs> how? Well, well, like I just said, do, doing something above and beyond. I, Ordering I, $20 of food. Oh, excuse me, $50 yeah. of DoorDash. Order $50 yeah. of DoorDash. Okay. I'm gonna well, that doesn't cost any money, though. You know, oh, doing oh. another stream. Yes. Reacting. Great point. That's Great just point, Adam. Getting more money. Right point, Adam. Correct, but then, you know, the, the ordering of a giant meal that normally I wouldn't order. <laughs> giant meal. <laughs> ordering of a giant meal? 
that I Me wanted. gorging myself? That's where the expense comes in, you see. I gotta eat. Ordering two entrees instead of getting door dashed, you're talking 50, 60 bucks in my pocket that I normally Whoa. would not spend. That I normally would not spend that he every single week admits to doing. And he's he, yep. every week he says this. No, it's not nope. budgeted, but because it's not you know, budgeted. We did a special event. And I know I, I hear what you're saying. What okay. you're saying is if you have these goals every day, where's the money going? Yes. Yeah. Would you really like to know? Oh, definitely. Really it's, oh, not, yeah. it's not well, yes. honestly, it's not that we are asking. It's that mm -hmm. you, I feel like the people out there that have been supporting you that now have turned against you because they feel you lied to them or. Uh, mm -hmm. if you saw them as dollar signs, and that's all you that they were to you. Yeah, it's like I feel like they want to know most. Well, let, let, then let's talk about that. Oh, let's talk about that for a minute, right? Set up. There was a um, you know, you went through bankruptcy, right? And, and I guess uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is where this, the... this is leaking into the next one. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Right. Yeah. So it sounds like projecting right now. Um, <clears throat> I'll let Meerkat, you set this. Oh, I saw you last first last time. Atlas, you go ahead. Where are we putting this one at? Um. Putting this, I'll give this one a C. Okay. Give this one a C. I could agree with that. It kind of sets up the next one. It's still a worthy entry because it really gets him talking about, gets him like already freaking out about how he's going to explain away his money. You know, like, uh, I, mm. uh, and it gives us a great pop of, uh, yeah, yeah, well, I bought the big meal. Oh, that's <laughs> investing in the business for you. Okay. Yep. That's, that's what you're thinking about. America, what do you think? Uh, I agree with you guys. I'm fine with a C. Uh, I like that they called him out on this and they pressed him on the whole like <laughs> buying a meal being like a special investment into the business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it's a nice segment. All right, here we go into the next moment. Moment. The one I forgot though, and yes. I remember now that I forgot is the whole like slave trade clip. Oh, and that one got a lot of heat on yeah, the side scrollers as well. That's like instant S. Like that, like changed the whole. For me, that changed the ceiling of how good the the the, in, the interview could be. Like, didn't it for you? Like, I was like, okay, yes. What's my mind? How good could this be? I had an idea, but then when he breaks out the clip, it's like, oh man, this could be better than I expected. If we're getting clips, you know, that that, that easy s. Yes. That's like iconic. You know, that's just yeah, iconic yeah, of yeah. iconic. We play that for you. I, I do think. It runs a little long, like they hold on it a little too long, but I think it doesn't take away from it all that much. It, it's definitely an S style. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. The one issue that I that I have with it, and it's not really the way they addressed it, but the way people kind of uh, consumed and comprehended the segment is that the whole point isn't that he made a joke that he should be held so accountable for. Yes. It's that he spent like the last 10, 15 minutes leading up to that segment, talking about how much he had changed and he doesn't do jokes like this anymore. Yep. And then they pull it out and be like, okay, well, what about this one? Yeah, that's the key point. Because it's not about getting Phil canceled or anything. It's about like, he, his whole first hour plan of DSP was to show how he's not the asshole you might know him for being, right? That was his whole fucking plan. Right, he was building it. Every answer was like, "Yeah, yeah." Way back then, you know, my my chat with my chat was all the kids, and you know, kid, I, I was like playing a character. And then they drop that and say, "No, no, fucker, we're in control here. We own the boat here." I answer for that from 2022. What are you gonna say? You know, and then that sent yeah that sent the tone that we're in fucking legendary status of this interview. Go ahead, Atlas. He 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 had the he was giving him the pre-stream. Yeah. Except now the pre-stream, someone could stop you and say, "Okay, but what about this?" Yeah, and, that, and he he yeah. was not ready for to to get off the pre-stream uh, script. <laughs> because people that usually do that get banned real quick, and they get called mouth droolers and idiots, and uh -huh. then he gets to move on. Yep. And this time he just couldn't do it, and he had to sit there and and take it. <laughs> so here we go. Next one is not that moment, but it is a legendary moment. Let's. Okay, where's the money going? Oh, would you really like to know? Do you really want? Uh, it's I mean, not. It's not. Honestly, it's not that we are asking. It's that mm -hmm. you, I feel like the people out there that have been supporting you, that now have turned against you because they feel you lied to them or uh, you, yep. they want to know. But, uh, there was a. Um, oh, fast forward see, to Phil's response. This, yeah. um, the the five thousand uh, dollar, you know, business expense thing has been talked about. By your detractors quite a bit and say what yeah. could you possibly uh -huh. be spending five thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. dollars on Look, yeah yeah okay. i'm not that you are a streamer who streams 
you know, by your own schedule, you're you're uh, you're active 12 hours yep, a day course, doing this, course. right? Oh, oh and, yeah, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And by your own you know, admission, you, you said like you didn't fix the set at all. It's been just a shoddy <laughs> set for most of your de- over a decade of of doing this, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's there's this whole like what what do your business expenses look like? I mean, I've done this for a long time. The business expenses right. are your initial cost of set your they set them up. Me Let's get what he answers. Right. Every month. So right. what, what what is this? Okay, so first of all, we're talking about things that came out publicly during a bankruptcy uh, proceeding, correct? Okay, so that's like, he's trying to get you to sit, feel like, this came out during a bankruptcy proceeding, so like, you guys shouldn't even know this. That's what he's trying to say right here, you know? Yeah. I was like, I mean, first of all, yeah. you guys shouldn't even know this information, but okay, I'll talk about it, because I have to, okay. And I believe mm-hmm. that the $5,000 a month number came off of i i believe it's from my my a tax return is that correct that it was filed or, or okay. know, the data i'm just saying words exactly okay where it came from bro you um, should you know guys probably know more than me because you've probably been inundated with this oh no you guys well. would know more i don't you, you guys would know, i want to hear it from you guys would know more about my bankruptcy than me right but it's like <laughs> like he should know every single dollar <laughs> that has been filed on that bankruptcy <laughs> form and where it's from and in how it ended up there he should know all of this even though he has like a bankruptcy attorney or whatever it's still his responsibility to know all of this it was i felt the same way when he talks about the tax guy in the interview too because they they i don't don't mean to jump ahead but he doesn't know any of the forms he doesn't know what information he's giving out and why he just Uh they that person deals with it can't be bothered so yeah. I, I believe this is when he says, like, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I think so. Uh, Spaghetti Sam is saying he's trying to gauge how well informed they are. I guess that could be. I think he's too nervous for that, though. But who knows? I don't think he's thinking ahead at all. I think he's just trying to scramble and say enough words so people don't know what the question is anymore. But from you, I, th- I think again, uh, I'm just speculating. I think speculating. what happened was when I filed for bankruptcy, a lot of information goes public. And so they look at a public filing. I guess there's certain information that's made public. I don't think it's all your tax returns. I think it's like one year's worth or something. Relevant? Um, okay, irrelevant. And I guess there was a number that was thrown out there that nope. it looks like Phil... Th- number that was thrown out there. Uh-huh. By thrown out there, it means filled out on the form correctly where it's supposed to be filled out in a bankruptcy <laughs> proceeding. But yeah, they just threw it out there, you know? Okay, cool, cool, cool. It does, spends $5,000 a month on business expenses. That's what your bankruptcy now, said. Number one... I don't do my own taxes. I have a tax guy to do. I pay him to do it. Number okay. one, if it's messed up, it's not my Here's fault. What I, can uh, I didn't put that right, in. When I, I can tell you right now because I'm working on it right now for this year. <laughs> working on it right now. Expenses that a tax attorney wants to know you're spending every month. Geez. Um, your mortgage. Because if you work from home, I guess that's part of it. I don't know. Again, I'm not a tax guy, but you, you oh. cost your mortgage. No anything, um, do you? Uh, all of your utility bills that apply to you operating well, the business. Well, hold, hold on, Phil. Phil, you've been doing this for 17 years, and you don't know what your business expenses are. You don't know yeah, what you're tax write off. So uh, I mean, like, uh, no. <laughs> so stop asking about it. <laughs> At least you should have an estimate of how much money goes to the actual business. Let's say, well, it's like between like 500 and 700 dollars, something like that. You should have a range that you know for sure, because you know, after all. You are responsible for your finances and what you spend your money on. Are you trying to tell me you don't know what you spend your money on? Well, 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 the, well, this well, guy well, well. who he, he wants to convince you that he's the most responsible person financially so you can donate to him your money. But then again, when you ask him, where do your money go? And it's like, I don't know. My tax guy does my taxes for me, so I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> he carries that same energy into the business too. He wants to convince you he's this legitimate businessman. Every time you're like, "Oh, so what's your plan? What are you doing?" He goes, "Well, I didn't really think that far. It's uh-huh. really day by day. I'm listening yeah. to feedback." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Typically, no, I don't. Oh. I, I give it all. T- I pay a lot of money to a tax guy. I have a giant. Oh, a lot of know, money. I have to say that though. That I provide. They work it out because every year it's different. You know, I get to feel the tax loss change and stuff, uh-huh. and they figure it out. I give them all the data. In fact. Just got an email from a tax guy the other day. He's like, we still need this data for you for this year's tax filings. We need. This is, again, just I'm, I'm an adult guy. I have so much confusing business taxes. Like, he's acting like he's a CEO yeah. of 18 companies, you know, and has to well, really it, put in work. It's probably not very easy to do the taxes because you get a lot of different revenue streams and you got to, like, send them all and have some kind of an account for all the money that comes in. Yeah. Um, and also, while we're on this... 
Uh, if you had any doubts that this time of year he does his taxes, because recently he's been talking about taking streams off for personal stuff. For some reason, not saying that he's doing taxes, even though everybody knows. Yep. This is another confirmation, because this happened almost to the day a year ago. It happened yesterday yep. a year ago. That he's, yeah, so he's, he's at least cl clear on his timelines where he actually is doing taxes right now. What he's doing for those taxes and how much work. Seems like to me... So I only paid for, I used to do my taxes myself. I paid someone one year, the year I moved back from Japan to America, I paid somebody for that. And they made my, my job much easier, actually, because, you know, I paid them to do stuff that I didn't have to do, you know? It's just kind of weird how right. Phil pays so much money, but yet it's the, it's the biggest challenge of his life is doing taxes every year, but yet he pays a lot of money for this too. So what exactly are we paying for? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. Then the push send on it? I don't know. But you know, what's your cost of internet this year? What's this? What's, they need all that information and I got to get them to it and then they do it. So hmm. what you're, what, here's the thing. Uh -oh. All right. Here's Everyone, let, we're really going to get to the meat of it is oh, this neat. stupid WWE champions bullshit. Which no I one asked about that, wait, sir. What? Well, no one asked. Uh, excuse me, sir. No one asked about that. Trying to stop trying to pull that escape rope, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Phil was like, abort, abort, hit the button. WWE champions, get me out of this question. Get me out of this question right now. <laughs> let me go and throw detractors under the bus. I can't. Uh -huh. I can't do this right now. I don't. I wasn't ready. <laughs> He was smashing that out button. <laughs> Stupid yeah. WWE so, champion. So what you guys are asking me about is where my money goes. What you should be asking me is what all the trolls did to me that is bad and it hurt me. <laughs> Great. That's definitely it. You guys are asking questions I really can't talk my way out of. How about WWE Champions news, though? <laughs> I can, Let me debunk that real quick. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. It's bullshit, which uh, I can't... All right, so... Let me see. We're going to get W champion. I think I should stop this one right here. What do you think, Mercat? I'll go a little bit farther on this um, one. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's I think we got good the enough. point. I, yeah. I don't remember, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We'll get champions to talk in here. Uh, so 5K expenses, I think that's a solid B style. Uh, left him, you know, mush mouth and wondering what to say. Trying to hit that escape rope of W champions. High B for me. Atlas, what do you think? I was I was right there. High B or low A. I'll go high B. That makes sense to me. Meerkat, settle this. Yeah, I agree with the high B. This is one of the points where he realized, wait, this is out of my control and I'm not used to this and I'm scared. Uh -huh. And it, it started to show. Uh -huh. He's starting to get the, the cracks are starting to show. <laughs> All the, right. the escape for for uh, WWE champions pressing that uh, yeah. that's insane though. I love that one. So I know. Uh, by the way, you want to talk about how I spent money? Okay, WWE champions. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that <can't, laughs> we're asking how you spent your money. The first thing to his mind is WWE champions. <laughs> they're just related. They they're right next to each other in his yeah. brain cells. Just like mom and wife for him. You know, they're just right there, right money, next to each WWE other. WWE champions, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Let's on. It's, can it's, I? Can I ask you, Phil, ha have sure. you ever spent money on this game? Oh, of course I have, yes. Have you spent a lot of money of on this course. game? Oh, uh, good question. What does a lot mean? <laughs> <Anything>. oh. <laughs> when you have to say that, it's not good. <laughs> it's over, bud. You lost. Are you, hey, son, are you stealing a lot? Well, Dad, uh, what's a lot to you? <laughs> you know you're in trouble if you got to say what's it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is really interesting because he uses that logic as well. When he talks about certain sums of money that he has to pay somebody, he mentions, oh my god, man, I had to pay a lot of money. <laughs> and you see here, he calls it out the yep. same way that the detractors call it out in his direction. It's oh. like, well, well, Phil, what do you mean by a lot of money? <laughs> well, well, what do you mean by a lot? A lot of money on this game? Uh, good question. What is a lot? Uh, go, 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 go. Over, <laughs> over $100 is too much on a mobile game. So Probably it, when the game first came out, yes, I spent over $100 on it. That was okay. 2017 when it first came out. Trust me, I'm versed on this game now. And what do you mean oh, when it first reason. came out? No, What's the window me. on that? We know you're versed on this game, brother. Thanks for pointing it out, though. I'm well versed on this game now, thanks to the tractors. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, yes, in the first you, year. Wait, we but, just flex hold on. on how... Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold your horses. Hold it. it hey, uh, easy. And I, I remember for a thousand percent guarantee that at some point he says that he learned about this game because the detractors put him in such a conspiracy theory, in such a paradox, in such a situation that he was forced to learn about this game. Yes. But he admits to playing this game still since 2017. 
Yes. So how seems, does that yeah. work? <laughs> it seems like you might learn about the game from playing it for six years, but, <laughs> you know, I guess those things too, maybe they're just coincidence. I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at his face. This is when you're, you're in trouble. <laughs> they're talking about WB champions. <laughs> all the wrong reasons. Uh, so, yes, all the, the wrong reasons, year. like playing it too much. Wait, wait okay. so just flex on how good you are at the game? I gotta hear that again, sorry. For all the wrong reasons. That was okay. 27. Good question. What does a lot mean? Uh -huh. Anything over, over $100 is too much on a mobile game. So Probably it, when the game first came out, yes, I spent over $100 on it. That was okay. 2017 when it first came out. Trust me, I'm versed on this game now for all the wrong reasons. So, yes, in the first you, year. Wait, wait, so, you just flex on how good you are at the game? Oh, no, no, no. I said I'm versed on the game because I, I have to know about it because they, they're freaking putting me in conspiracies about it and shit. But it's you still play the game. Yeah. I don't know about it. Then, how, then, how much money have you spent in this game? You mind? You do you mind saying? Total, I couldn't tell you. It's uh, it's definitely tell you, total brother. under a thousand dollars over the years that it's been in operation for sure. X. Okay, not over a thousand dollars. No, no, that's not, not. That's not what. That's not what people think. Uh, that's yes. cool. think, oh, oh, I know. That you're you're some sort of a, a whale in that game. Oh, I know. I've seen every. You know, I, well, he spends thousand dollars a week, by the way, as you guys know, if you follow TJ Game. Bob. Okay, I haven't seen every video. I've heard it all. First, it was. Like so, hold on. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Right. Well, he said he would. He is now well versed on the game because uh -huh. of the detractor conspiracies against him. Correct. But now he says, "I haven't seen the videos, but I've heard about it." So <laughs> wait, people putting you in like in depth conspiracies, trying to slander you for spending like over a hundred thousand on a game, and you don't even bother to find out what they're actually saying, but you hear from a third party about it. That doesn't make any sense. And yeah. I, 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 he learns about the game. He he learns about the game through the conspiracy theories that he has to watch. That's the bottom line. All right. It make it, it makes sense if you don't think about it. Sound good? All right. Quick quick quick, quick uh, shout outs here. Uh, Critical Gaming says best part of the interview is when DSP wanted to move on from Keem. We want to go back to the other topics, right? AKA, let's go back to talking about me. Oh yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll show that. I love that one too. I love that one too. Lord K Lord Kane says, "What is a day like for you?" Promotion style answer. Uh huh. I'm the hardest worker on earth, and I work 12 hours a day, six days a week. Sound good? What else do you need? Come on. Copeside Phil says, the way he talks to Craig and Adam with the soy voice is the way he should talk to his fans. But the problem is that this is a fake persona. He doesn't give a shit about what his fans think of. That's, that, that's why they don't get the soy voice. Petchy says, I always have coworkers give me cash and do my job. <laughs> Very cool, that's a good Petchy. workplace. Where you work at? Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm going to switch over. There? That's awesome. <laughs> Copeside Phil says, Craig and Adam were playing good cop, bad cop perfectly. They knew exactly what they were doing, and they got Phil in a corner every single time. Uh-huh. And they had to have that uh, Adam there as the guy that didn't know anything. Because yes. if he was, if let's, per let's pretend they got Meerkat on there. And Meerkat was there. You could never get a straight answer from, from, him, from Phil because Meerkat's a detractor. And it, you don't take him seriously, guys. He's just a stupid, dirty yeah. detractor. Adam, though, is this guy that doesn't know anything about him. So you can't instantly have a bad feeling towards him because he doesn't know what's going on you know what i mean so that was good yeah. and, and, and it's also great to see how many red flags are raised to a normal person just listening to dsp uh -huh. and just like yeah well well wait wait a minute phil you just said this it doesn't make sense you just said this it doesn't make sense and mm -hmm. just like casually calling him out as a normal just a regular person would uh-huh that's what it is a beautiful Watching the switch to detractor live in the interview is one of the more interesting parts because yeah, Adam <laughs> just you could see slowly see it just start to add up and he's like, wait a minute, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, last one, Meth Bear in the house says Phil said he breaks down his financials in detail by category, so his tax attorney guy won't have to sift through tons of documents and bill him more. Well, it sounds like you got to work on how much your your billing situation with your tax guy, if that's true, because um, that's not how it's ever worked in my short uh time on this earth a very short time on this earth but all right let's fucking go come on then it was ten thousand then it was twenty then it was forty now it's a hundred i think a hundred thousand supposedly i've spent on this uh -huh. yeah because time well, we is passing and you and keep you spending went into you played six years so just attacking other people like we don't have oh yeah well, well we started talking see, this, about this is what i'm instantly... talking about these are the the red flags that just come up where a normal person you don't have to know anything about dsp you just listen to him at face value just like he wants to be listened to uh -huh. this 
Adam, in this case, is his target demographic. Yeah. This is who DSP is trying to appeal to. The guy who knows <laughs> nothing about him. And it doesn't work. <laughs> We went into just attacking other yes, people like we don't have to pattern. like your detractors like they, they may deserve it i don't know but we we can have this conversation without even bringing them up sure, yes right? let's we'll, start we'll doing that now if they're okay. if they you, you know you're you're saying you're instantly going to the they're making up shit but you do play this game you have spun, mm -hmm. mo spent money on it and Correct. i think what ha what's happening is when you're begging your audience <laughs> that super chat is that down for the rafters damn <laughs> 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 Great super chat. <laughs> for money, and then complaining that you know this king's feast is too expensive for six, a sixty dollar meal, and you're you're uh -oh. stressing. Team stars asking on Twitter to come on. This is when that uh, started for money, and then putting money into a game that is a mobile game that is. I mean, let's let's face it. Mobile games are not necessary in life. No nope. spending oh. any any amount of money what? on a oh, mobile hey, game. Hang on. To me. I, That's I, a I've step never... too far, Adam. You don't know how good this is. You ever seen these dudes? But they're hot. Why well, six if... years the best years of my life, man? <laughs> What if they're meaningful, though? Yeah. That changes Great a lot. question. I don't think he's seen the gem breaking mechanic either. That is legendary. You break the gem. So if you get three in a row, I don't know if you guys know this. If you get three in a row, you break them. And that's, I mean, what else do you need? Breaking colored Adam, gems. Do this, do this poll real quick. Tell me how you feel afterwards. Maybe you'll start to understand <laughs> yeah. how meaningful it is. Yeah, yeah. Look, give me a shot. Do one poll real quick, Adam. Then you'll get it. I've never played <laughs> this WWE. I don't even know. I, I, I saw, like... A picture of it, and it looked like Candy Crush. Whoa! Or I don't, don't know what the don't hell it is. Don't simplify you know, it. It just feels like <laughs> they feel even like you know. Imagine even if DSP was innocent of this whole thing, you're having two grown men sit this guy down for five hours to talk to him about Candy Crush. What are we talking about? Well, like you're you're just using them. To like using your audience and like I don't want to be used. I, I personally I don't like feeling used. I've been used by people in the past and I don't have time for that in my life. So when people Bobble are head. watching someone online and supporting them and then feel used, yeah, like when you know you you say you beg too much and you you know you're working on that, which is good because as I said, <laughs> oh that was one of the heaviest head nods I've ever <laughs> seen, man. He almost that, broke his neck right there. <laughs> Like when you know you you say you beg too much, and this and you, was you know, a working. response to you beg too much, and he like unhinges his head and almost falls over. Working on that, which is good because, as I said, it's not a good look. Ah, but yes, thank you for bringing that up, sir. About, hey, this other game that they believe you're a whale in. Why why do they think you're a whale? Where where are they getting this? Do you know the person named Evil AJ? <laughs> I, Man, I, I wish we could watch this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. You ever heard of someone known Evil AJ, sir? Let's start. Well, let me, so we go further back. You ever heard of a company called Sikorsky Aircraft? <laughs> so here's the thing. Uh oh. I don't exactly know. They, there's been so much to this thing over the years. Oh yeah. Can't you know, put a, but, my so finger I, on it. I'm just gonna briefly in my head try to go over what I remember. Apparently, at first it was that there was an account in the game. Oh no, let's just, just, I don't want to debunk him too hard here, but there was a previous game called, known as WB Supercard that he admitted to spending lots of money and 80 hours in two weeks on. Admitted that himself with his own screen names on Twitter and on the Supercard forums. So that's why people yep. kind of got the idea that maybe this guy spent some money on, w, on, on mem, uh, uh, fucking mobile games because he admitted to it himself, you know? Yes. So that's the first, that was the first, uh, you know, uh, chink in the armor, let's say. One of the most pathetic things is that he also hooked up Panda Lee to be playing this yes. game for no reason. Yep. Uh huh. Uh, yes, Chody Taint, 80 hours in two weeks. He himself said that. It takes me about 20 seconds to play one, and he said he played like 2,000 matches or whatever. And I don't remember the exact numbers, but that's on WPIG yeah, go, stream with Meerkat. Yeah, go check it out. Yeah, yeah I'll link it's it. A, I'll it's link a in super chat. fun stream. It was, it was nuts. It was fucking nuts. That's the name of the account was They Call Me DSP. Okay. Which is which is also your Twitter handle. That's correct. That's correct. And mm -hmm. so just by that association, they're assuming that's me in the game. Okay. 
Now, for what by I the way, in every mobile game he ever used, he also used his own fucking screen name for for his name in those days. Yes. He just did. That was just something he did. He didn't think about it. I'm doing my name, you know. After that, after I guess at some point it had been asked on a stream or whatever, is this you? And I said, no, that's not me in the game. Uh -huh. It is not, by the way. That is not my account in the game. Um, what is then, your account in the game? That I'm not going to say. That's, that's <laughs> and if you're going to say why, because. Back when I signed up for that game in 2017, there had never been any drama. <laughs> that was Meer one of Meerkat's highlights is right there. <laughs> that game in 2017, there had never been that's the best. Never been any drama <laughs> around mobile games or anything like that that I've been involved in. No one ever asked me the question of what's the name of your account. I have a, a, a an account name on basically my Apple device that kind of crosses over a lot of different accounts. Okay, and if I were to tell you information hmm. about my account, mm -hmm. these people will absolutely use that to hurt me. Uh, they will try to use this data to get into other accounts. Uh, this is just so they will lame. Probably try to uh, yes, kill my family. They will try to again, they will try to murder cat with that yeah go the, ahead the point that i always bring up and when we had craig on i also brought this up is like okay you're being accused of this and this and this and you know you're showing up to somebody else's platform that is going to be looked at by tons of people hundreds of thousands yes and you don't come up with a way to defend yourself you don't come <laughs> up with a way to disprove what people are saying about you and instead, you just say you can't do anything about it, and people on the spot have to convince you to try and defend yourself. You just look guilty as fuck. Don't blame me if I think you're guilty, because that's exactly how you look. How easy would it be? And I know it wouldn't solve anything. We would all know it's not, it's not true, because TJ Gamebox would still be there, and all those fucking videos that prove exactly how we know it's him. But he could have had a, a, a account ready, you know? Just he could have yep. had one. You know, he knew that the interview was coming for months. Yeah. If you, you know, spend, literally spend 10 hours a month on it so you can see that and just show it. So easy. Nope, nope. We have to go through all this of, you might literally murder my father if you have my mobile game account number. There's definitely something that happens. Be safe with your mobile game accounts, guys, because people can kill you if they have those. Oh, well, the, okay. So, so, so on the record, you're you're saying that uh, that account they call me DSP is not you. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Uh huh. Right. Well, now. so well, okay, but that here's the thing that that I'm having a hard time wrapping my wrapping my brain around. Right? Right, we should move on to the next one. We get we 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 know this one. I know we could spend more time well, on this one. What is what is Craig gonna say? I'm just curious. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. I don't remember that. that name was changed later to down from the rafters this is fantastic right. by okay. the way okay okay cool, cool. We'll, keep it, we'll keep it now you said it why you say down from the rafters now you said it craig i said it <laughs> why i didn't would see somebody, that if this is a troll <laughs> that is a whale right that in this game why would somebody after let's say let's say after this was brought to your attention it was it the name is later changed right and they're spending all this money on this Right, and they know it's being, you know, this is being tracked in this game. Why would they change the name if they're just trolling you with, with they call me DSP? Yes, this, this name. Great question. Why would they then change the name if it's just a troll to begin with? What's what's the point? I'm trying to well, wrap my head around this idea here. Sure. Apparently, there's a couple theories. <laughs> Theory number one is like I don't know. Said, I don't watch this. Stuff. I don't know anything about what they're saying. There's a couple theories. I don't even fucking know. I have no idea. So let me give you a couple theories I've seen from detractor videos. Was that actually a don't troll exist. Who was trying to make me look bad? Ah. And that was the theory oh. until the name changed. But. I agree with you. That doesn't seem to make sense, does it? Why would you try to ch change great. your name? If oh, you great you defense, know? sir. Thank you. Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> did not give us a couple theories either. He gave us the one and then goes, yeah. but yeah, it doesn't make sense. No further questions, Your Honor. We're done. <laughs> yeah, again, this is me just guessing. I have no clue because this is not me. Oh. Maybe this person was a legit player. Maybe it was a fan of mine. Maybe it was, a, you know, who knows? Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's complete chance. You know, this is not Dark Side Phil. Complete Filled. chance. This is chance. Not complete <laughs> chance. Gaming. This is they it's, call it's me Dark Side. They call me DSP, which is the name he uses on his so other social media shit. What? And on the other wrestling mobile game account that yes, he had. Yes! Is he saying here that's a... Oh my god, I didn't remember that part. Holy shit. Darkside Phil, this is not DSP Gaming. 
This is they it's, call it's me. It's Dark Side yeah. Patrick. Uh, yes, no, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. I, that's really I, the theory the he's pushing too. It yeah. Maybe it's purely it coincidence. Like There's another guy named they call me DSP. Uh -huh. I don't think so, man. What that's the insane. Fuck, Burnell or whatever. It was. And what, what was that? It's not, it wasn't my name. It wasn't like Phil Burnell or whatever. It was <laughs> what? That was one word I used. Phil Burnell. <laughs> what? What the fuck was that? It's but a Twitter account. Yeah, e even if it was, that wouldn't prove it's Phil Burnell, this guy. I know, It would yeah. just be a Phil Burnell. Yeah. yeah. You can make your screen name whatever the fuck you want. I don't know if you knew that. It's not Phil Burnell, per se. It was... <laughs> so, maybe this legitimately was someone who was playing the game and over the years was getting, okay. like, harassed. I don't uh, know. Here's, here's what I can tell you. Okay, here we go. Since this started happening, all right? I was afraid that the my actual account name was going to get out there, and they were like I just told you guys, uh -oh. they were going to try to like harass me or change, you know, harass my my Apple account, hack my Apple account, whatever. Harass my Apple account. We almost got. <laughs> he pulled it back, but he was about to say harass my Apple account. I well, reached Phil, out. I got. I gotta say real quick, if, mm -hmm. if that the, whoever they call me DSB changed it to whatever the hell they changed it to. Why haven't you changed it to some? That's, uh, that's what I'm about thing. to say. That's exactly that's, that's, what I'm about that's, to say. That's, that's, I asked the, the, you know, they have the help chat or whatever. I asked them. I said, "Listen, this is happening, and I'm, I'm really afraid." And they told me they don't do that. I was like, "What? They're, yeah, we don't do that. We don't uh, do name changes." Uh, I said, "There's evidence that, that that there is. They wouldn't do it for me." So maybe I mean I don't know maybe this this person because right. of the level that they spent supposedly in the game because they're a whale maybe the company did them a solid because uh -huh. they, they keep spending and so they did it for and them. Just, but oh my god! Just, this, just this is it. excellent theory crafting this for so someone who's amazing. never seen these videos, dude. He just told you why they would change an account name though. If you are a whale, yeah. like one of the reasons, like if you're a whale, maybe they did that. Yeah, like they did for you, sir, down from the rafters. Uh, I don't know. Maybe though, it's not me. I wouldn't know, I but maybe. I don't know. Also, what? why? Why would you change the name of an account that nobody knows? Yeah. And nobody has found out. Oh. And also, like, he, he just revealed how he did it, because I'm I'm almost, like, 100% sure that's how he did it. He just went to the support chat and said, I'm being harassed. I've spent so much money on this game. If you guys don't do it, I'm going to fucking sue you or something like that. You know, he's a Karen. He yeah. goes all out on people and just, like, makes them feel like shit until they do what they got to do for him. Yeah, and he, I'm sure he would say, like, do you understand how much money I'm spending? Uh, do you not understand that? I'm playing... How many fucking hours am I spending on this game? Hold on, I gotta play it. Someone requested it, and I will. It is... It's worth it, I promise you. It's only... Okay? Not that part, this part. Oh, I'm it's this, yeah. The rafters. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I've gone down from the rafters. Okay. I've gone right. down. It just gets from... it just me slower and slower. But yeah, that, that was the best. Okay. <laughs> There's no option in the game to change your name. I've tried. It's not there. Uh -huh. And in contact support, they say we won't do it. Okay. Look, I. <clears throat> okay. Let's stop right there. Big Ups Wesley says, doesn't Phil playing Hearthstone and Supercar with the same username and then saying in the interview that he uses the same username on his Apple device prove that it's him? I'm not a detective here, okay, Wesley? We're all not detectives, but seems good to me, brother. Seems fucking good to me. Uh, let's go to our tier list again, and let's see where we're going to put this. This one feels like ha the minimum I'm going is A. Meerkat, do you have any, any uh, argument to go higher than that? No, I, I I love this one. This is great, but also it's it's kind of vague the way we we you know yeah. made the the whole clips work. It doesn't yeah, matter. Go, it? They're yeah, all fantastic. I wish we could sit through the whole thing because it's know, amazing. But I know. we don't have that kind of time, obviously. <laughs> so we got to do it like this. Yeah. Um, I'm cool with A. I'm cool with S. This is fantastic. He lied about like five different things in this one. None none of it makes sense. None of it holds up to any kind of scrutiny. So, yep. Yep, not uh, very good. Uh, Chad is asking for an S. Uh, Atlas, you can you can settle this. A or S? Um, see, I would have gone high A as well. There's some clippables okay. in there. He does lie about quite a few things, but like you guys said, it's kind of vague, kind of yeah. general purpose style. Uh huh. We we would love to done what Atlas did yesterday and watch the whole thing. That we would be here. How long did it take you, by the way? Did you pause a lot or just uh, burn through? No, I was no pause. I, would ah, talk, I just talked key. over the bits. That's yeah. the key. It was, yeah. so it was five hours long. <laughs> I had it sped up. There was a couple things we replayed, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> we would be here 10 hours minimum.
Uh, but there you go. Have you spent a lot of money on this game is an A. Next up on Docket, legendary Docket here we have today, is this beauty. I actually address something real quick. Um, so Keem, Keem actually just tweeted and, uh -oh. and uh, responded to what you just said. And I, I want to hear your thoughts on it. I'm going sure. to read his tweet. Uh, Keem, he said, DSP is lying in this live interview. I called Phil at the agreed times, and he ignored my calls and claimed later he was at work. He ignored my calls for 50K up front uh, for the uh, low-cow podcast to stream to under oh, So, Meerkat, you kind of went like this. Did that mean you think he wouldn't have Keem on at this time? Um, I, I mean, at this point, seeing that they were proposing that Keemstar comes on, yeah. I thought everything would just completely derailed. Okay. I, I did not expect this. And I, I didn't even expect him to agree to it, yes. which I was very surprised that's by. That's what I was at, too. I thought he'd say, no, I, just wanna, I don't want you to come on, but uh, here we go. 200 live viewers begging for them to pay his rent and his utility yes. bills. Both Wings and Boogie agreed to Low Cow, uh, Low Cow Podcast. The only reason it didn't happen was because of DSP. <laughs> Thoughts? response <laughs> blatant lie he called me when i was on stream i looked at my phone when i was on stream wondering why i was getting a phone call uh -huh. after the fact i realized that was keemstar calling me when i was on live streams but we could take 10 minutes to uh close the blinds can't talk to keemstar yep. trying to and give you fifty thousand. uh uh-huh in this interview he picks up a piece of paper that has his bills on it and then later on gets up to go and leave it while two thousand <laughs> people are watching <laughs> So yep. like yeah, we, it's it's pretty obvious we can meander for literally everything, but yes. not pick up the phone for an offer that can cost him fifty thousand. Yeah, can give him fifty thousand. I remember when he the keys. Remember the keys? That was pretty recent. Oh, and let me go put my keys back downstairs. Yep. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What? The man tells balls. you he's got a twenty minute bathroom break scheduled in, but he can't pick up the phone for uh for Team Star's fifty K. Yes, it's in, not like ten minutes. Yeah. It's not like Keemstar just calling him to do shit on him. He's saying, I want to give you money. How can we make this work? That's what that makes it much different too. It's not just like Keemstar wants to talk about mystery thing. It's like I wanna give you money. I know Phil's gonna say here he didn't know what it was about and all that stuff, but I gave him okay. the times. I said there was time frames between streams he could call. At one day, I actually sat wallet. Here yeah, it was the wallet, not the keys. It was the wallet. The wallet. He had to put it back downstairs, yeah. which is even crazier because keys are maybe Cat needs the keys later. All right, maybe we know that's not true, but okay. But yeah, the wallet because it has to be downstairs. And, uh huh. And I, I've always said all he had to do is just say he doesn't want to work with Keemstar. He's not interested. Keemstar, don't call me. Don't bother me. I'm not working with you. Yes. That's all he needed to do. But and instead, he, he played all these semantics like Keemstar didn't approach him in the proper way, professional way, whatever the fuck. And it just makes him look even more pathetic. He could have <laughs> just said, Keemstar, I don't like you. You exploit people. Go fuck yourself. I'm not working with you. And that's it. That's yeah. all you got to do. Yeah. People would still the be calling him out for being broke as fuck and refusing 50K. But that would happen... Regardless, that's least, happening now as well. That makes sense to a, a person that has, knows nothing about DSP or anything. Yeah, okay, that makes sense to me. He doesn't want to work with them. All right, cool. But then we have to go through this whole fucking walk down this. Who knows what his reasons are that make no sense about his schedule. And every fucking human on earth knows like when you're on stream, you can take a fucking break, dude. You can take yep. a break for five minutes. But he's trying to put this off as I was working. Hello, I was working. Like he's, you know. The president and he has to do shit on time for him to call yeah the demanding call. of the emails is next level too that's i don't care who you are that will instantly usually someone starts demanding that you contact them via email like what, what yeah. are we doing here uh -huh. uh -huh. well, if it's not true he's gonna he's gonna post you know when you were streaming in the phone call and if not then yes you know it's pretty easily provable yeah that's fine so, he never there I it tell is. You right now yeah, to, that's to fine. my knowledge he never actually called me when I when during the time. To my knowledge, look how quick that got added, guys. Yep. You see that? That got added lightning fast. To my knowledge, uh, <laughs> to, to, to my knowledge, uh, and then he checks his phone real quick, kind of panicking. <laughs> and, Watch this. Know, it's pretty easily provable. 
Yeah, that's fine. So, he never there actually it is. right now, to to my knowledge, ah. he never actually called me when I when during the times that we talked when he was available. Ah, okay. to my knowledge. Check his phone real so, quick. To my knowledge. That's all I can Double say. down on it. And then at, Check you know, my phone. Fact, I here's the thing. I just wanted to have the conversation. As I'm I told have you guys, I personally have issues with the guy and the content he puts out. I, uh, so I like that least, he checked his phone but didn't give us any it's uh, in my uh, best interest to have the conversation, find out what the conversation is about at least to uh, find out, you know, but but he wouldn't even have a conversation. So if you, the conversation doesn't take place, of course I'm not gonna say. If, if you can't even have the call, how on earth could you ever? Enter we a tried to have the call, sir. With someone multiple for times. A big amount of money for a big commitment of time or whatever it was gonna be, you know, it just didn't make any sense to me at all. So that's why it never happened. But here's the thing. Okay. Uh -huh. Here's where none of this makes sense. Keemstar is like actually one of the most reachable people ever. I could probably drop him a DM right now. Yes. And, and get in touch with him. I know Duty can get in touch with them. I know I'm pretty sure any of us can get in touch with them. Yes. And that's how people do business nowadays. That's how we invite people on the show. I just find a way to reach out to them and be like, hey, do you want to come on the podcast? And then they're like, yes. Or then they're like, no. And that's <laughs> it. It's as simple as that. You don't need to write like a, a proposal letter to somebody. You don't need to send them a cover letter or your resume. You just send them a message asking them if they're interested in something. Yep. And Dark Side Phil should be one of the most approachable per people ever because he really needs that exposure. He really needs that money. He really needs it. So he should be as approachable as possible. Just like when you there's someone asks you to do something you don't want to do at work, so you just make other you make up reasons that you can do it. That's all we're doing here. It's just different. He's not actually at work and he doesn't have actual reasons. He just says like all this other nonsense so you forget. Like, he's, he's trying to make people that don't know the situation think, okay, yeah, yeah, he had a lot of stuff to do. He couldn't call. He couldn't answer that phone. What's, what's wrong with him? But no one on Earth could fall for this reasoning here. So that's what we get here, this long meandering thing he's doing while he can't answer the phone. And he says, why would I work with someone? I can't even get on the phone. The reason he couldn't get on the phone is you, though. That's, that's the, it's crazy. And by the way, Boogie, I've talked with Boogie behind okay. the scenes. He really wanted me to be on the show. Yeah. But I, t I told him personally, I can't do it, man. I can't do anything with Keem. Uh -huh. I just can't do it. I'd I, rather beg. Guy, I can't I love be involved business the way he stands <laughs> I really for. love it's begging. It's kind of like the same so... thing. I know this is going to sound crazy. Yes. All right? That's true. Correct. I'm the kind of guy that I, if I can help, yes, that, I that's won't true. shop at Walmart. Okay? Why? <laughs> like, I, what, is this Walmart. Flex? what is this flex? Shitting on Walmart now. <laughs> because what? it's like... What's the Because they exploit people, I guess. But then again, he shops from Amazon, no, which is like please. a company that has suicide nets on their windows where people piss in bottles because they don't <laughs> have a bathroom break. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Big up's Gengar Green says, uh, never forget the 50k walk away. Oh, definitely. 50k walk away is legendary. And Wesley H. in the house says, assuming Phil isn't lying, could Phil have given him a time not thinking about the time zone differences? But even he can't be that stupid. Well, could that be? I would, I would imagine that Phil didn't give a shit about time zones and said, Keem, call me this time. He's not thinking about time zones. Kind of guy that I, if I can help it, I won't shop at Walmart. Uh -huh. Why? Okay, why? Because I don't, <laughs> I hate that company. The company has destroyed small businesses, little towns, uh -huh. right? I love that now, Craig blocked eyes with the camera the when he said this. Huh? I, I can't help it. <laughs> Once in a while I go there. But for the most part, I, I can't, I got, that's the kind of guy I am. Maybe that's a huge flaw with me, right? Uh -huh. but well, that's true. I'm not true. gonna take money. I would feel like taking a paycheck from Keemstar is kind of like blood money. Oh, that's money blood he money! Made on the back, yeah, of killers, people, uh, killer Keem's a killer. Actually, <laughs> he literally Murder kills style. people. Yeah. And didn't you start your career on on like drama and hate? Ooh. But not against people. Oh, ever, I will say this, uh, I never... not against people though. I just did it against races, Adam. I was more of a Except racist style. You guys remember that uh, WWE 2K? The playthrough he did that the episode started by him saying this part of the game was made by a worthless human i Who hate worthless humans go kill yourself go, yeah. that's a direct quote don't forget that yeah definitely oh we have so many clips Career we can play on, here on like drama and hate but not nah, people i never i will say this i never if i could help it <laughs> <laughs> if i could help it <laughs> i never if i could help it what? Qualifying statement needed to be added, of course. <laughs> I'm, if I could help, but I've never killed anybody. I have killed like 10 people. I couldn't help it, though, in those cases, guys. It was, I mean, I, they had it coming to them. You know what I'm saying? G Your please Honor, tip. I just couldn't help it. It <laughs> please, was in me. <laughs> please tip. <laughs> Say this. I never, if I could help it, to, to people in the Street, Fighter, the Street Fighter community, like that's who you said you were targeting. 
Oh, okay, that's different. And here's the thing. You're right. It's different. <laughs> It's di- that's totally different. <laughs> that <laughs> murder. Wait, wait, wait. That's one example. Justified. Hold on. Hold on. That's different. Let me tell you why. I've, I've talked about this in documentaries about me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You sound, you sound like like the abusive ex boyfriend trying to. Oh, <laughs> man. Don't worry about it. Adam, so you're talking about something that happened the first half of the two thousand. I know. I, I'm oh, just... oh, oh, long, long, long time. You're, you're talking about something that's from the first half of the 2000s, Adam. Uh, uh, recorded history has barely just started then. Okay? Please, Adam. <laughs> I'm just changed oh, we, now. Don't worry about it. Watch Adam, this. You're talking about something that happened the first half I, of the two. I know. I, oh. I'm just. I'm just calling as I said. It just sounds funny. Like hearing that. Yeah. Um. I, that I changed now. That that line is so. I, I don't know. Overused by. I was an people. online troll in the Street Fighter community. Absolutely. There was online harassment that happened. Absolutely. Yes. I learned from that. I've been through it myself now, and okay. I realize how harmful that is and why you would never do it, especially when you're someone in a position oh of power who has an audience to actually troll people, to do drama against people. That's so harmful to them. I would never do that for personal gain. Can you please talk about, the question was how you started your career on hate, and, uh, you know, yep. let's get back to and that, Philip. You know, ever again, and and also, from- yep. he is doing it for personal gain. He has watched multiple documentaries about... Uh, Wings of Redemption, yes, which is about his downfall and how his life is miserable and how people bully him and harass him and try and get him to kill himself. He has watched documentaries about Pro Jared, who is a guy who uh, a lot of stuff happened with him, and he used Pro Jared's suffering to elevate himself and do a debunk stream so he can clear his own reputation. So yes, he has quite literally monetized and weaponized other people's suffering to benefit himself directly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. From Keemstar, Philip. That happened in the totally last few different. years. Yeah, that's different. Oh, that, that's, that, that's different. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Hold on, that's, that's different. That's different. <laughs> the people who've been hurt in order to benefit. I can't do that. Have you reached out to anybody that you are, that you feel that you wronged? All right, let's, let's move on here. That's good too. He actually did reach out to Shady K, uh, and uh, little real deep lore divers will know Shady K is the person that was with Taco Chan when Philip tried to hit on Taco Chan at a Super str- uh, Street Fighter tournament, and he was so incessant. Uh, that's what led to the te- the manifesto, the incel manifesto, Meerkat, the ten things. Oh man! Yeah, that's that was because of Taco Chan uh, turning him down, and and she said herself in current year that he was uh, incessant. Let's say, even though he knew Shady, he, she was with Shady K, and Shady K is the person he reached out to to say sorry, and Shady K did not respond. Uh, so, anyways, let's move. On. We got We got to move on here. We could listen to this whole thing. I would love to. Uh, but let's go. Keem asked to come on. Kind of spills into the, you know, Keem's an asshole. I, I'm different than Keem somehow kind of thing. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say B started off. Meerkat, what do you think? Uh, I would say A. I would even go as far as to say S. Because okay. this is where things get, get really bad for him. Yes. Because then, you know, we, we're prefacing the whole Keemstar topic. And then Keemstar, the guy himself, just shows up and everything just goes downhill. Okay. Atlas, you settle this. I'm going. I'm going high A. Okay. I guess we'll go low S then. We'll say low S. That's starting. <laughs> now let's have some fun as we move on to our next topic here. And <laughs> uh, let's go to the. Let, let's just get Keem in here. Okay, chronological. Come on. What are we waiting for? Magical time. I don't know how much time we got left. I know we do. Uh, if times at one twelve, we had his one twenty five. We can, we can, let's go a few more. Though. I can go a few more. Atlas, you cool to stay a little bit more? Yeah, I got, I got okay, a few okay. more. What were you gonna suggest though, Meerkat? Uh, can we do the the yeah. the doxing one? That okay. one is uh, an all timer. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll get back to Keem. Don't worry. Doxing request. Doxing you shall get. Um, but holding the information of that you have over people's heads. And I, I wanted to kind of show you this clip real sure. quick, and then, mm-hmm. then we can talk about this. So, uh, let's... I love the fact that his fucking Twitter account <laughs> is the same exact avatar <laughs> that he's fucking using for this troll account on my website. Oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. So, Shout out to Cat getting that line down. That was awesome. Yeah, no shit. You <laughs> fucked up. Uh-oh. You really did. Be awesome one on Twitter. Uh-oh. I have all your fucking personal information. Now, I'm going to say this up front. I'm not going to give it out. Uh, I'm not going to give it out. 
This is not a doxing video. I do not condone it. I will never uh, give out someone's personal information or anything like that whatsoever. Uh -huh. However, understand something. I got you. How about the fact that it's okay. fucking Twitter? Well, <laughs> do you think that's okay? I like how it kept going. But they had to go off. That was funny. The fade away. He's still screaming. Watch. Oh, God. Play. Oh, I muted it. Sounds Fuck. like a threat, right? Do you I got you. Okay, I got you. How about you. the fact that it's okay. fucking Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was looping. It was looping. It, looping. Yeah. Yeah, it was a loop. It sounds like a threat, right? That's the first time I've sure actually does. heard this clip since I said sure it. Sure does, Pretty sir. sure it was a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that, that is um, definitely yeah. a threat. That How can is, I, I mean, um, well, have I told you that uh, it was from the early 2000s yet? What can I say here? Okay. Um, okay. No, it's not. Oh, oh. My, no, it's again, not. This is yeah. kind of what, I mean... <laughs> He says yes okay. twice no, and then not. goes, uh, well, My no. <laughs> that is. Pretty sure it was a threat. Let's hear this again. Hold on. It sounds like a threat, right? That's yeah. the first time I've sure actually heard this clip since I said it. Pretty sure it was a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that, that is definitely a threat. That is, I mean, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> My, again, this is kind of goes back to I was, you, know, you tell a dark joke. You yeah, it was. Away, it came out a different way. Oh, that's a dark what joke. I, what, what I was getting at in that clip was. Did he say dark joke who there? Had hurt me. I don't know if you want to get into the specifics of what they had no, done. No, no, don't need to hear about that. Point, right? Nope. Don't um, give a shit. Go ahead. Really badly. It's actually one of the things that have actually actually hurt my business overall financially since then. Oh my god! Okay, look at so this, man. It. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Hold on, pause it for a second. Yeah, this is it. almost like a, it, it's almost like a visceral response is to immediately make yourself out to be the victim. Because uh -huh. you realize you're cornered. Yep. So what, you're, what are you going to do? First thing is like, <laughs> this guy hurt me. He hurt me actually terribly. Actually, I'm the victim, <laughs> yeah. which justifies the way I treated him. This one was shot. I think this one really caught him off guard because it caught me off guard too. Because this is not one of my like, I would, this would be like, I don't know. If I was bringing up clips to play, this probably wouldn't be in my top five. And I'm sure it probably th Phil probably thought the same fucking thing. And he wasn't ready for this one. Because he is just swimming here. You see his mind going like, uh, 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 okay. uh, you probably think it's a threat, right? Okay, yeah, right, right, right. Um, okay. Uh, uh, no, it's not. Um, okay, let me, <laughs> how can I consider that? How can I make me to be the victim here? How can I be the victim here? How can I be the victim here? Uh, be awesome one in chat. Big ups, dude. You're a legend. Hopefully, I have your I have your email and I have your address. Okay, it's not a threat though. Actually, actually, hurt not my a threat. It's just uh, for <laughs> information purposes. <laughs> yeah, just so you know. Yeah, this is the most viewed part of the interview. Yep, this is the most replayed. Um, really badly. It's actually one of the things that have actually actually hurt my business overall financially since then. Okay, I've never. So really it justifies covered. it. No, it doesn't justify it. <laughs> that's what you're, that's what you wouldn't have said it otherwise. Yeah, Great. That, that was that one of the best Adam right there. One of the best Adam slams right there. So it justifies it then. Is that where we're going here, sir? Because that's why he was doing it for. No, it doesn't justify that's it. That's what I mean. My business overall financially since then. Okay, I've never. So really it justifies it. No, it doesn't justify it. That's what you're, that's why you wouldn't have said it otherwise. <laughs> it, it got me that angry. So... It got me that angry. They had actually hurt me so bad. For no reason. I don't even know who that guy is. All right? And the only reason I knew is because someone had found that information, sent it to me. Like, okay. Pity party. Blame someone myself. else. What else can we and do? I said that on the stream because I was so upset. And okay. essentially, the, what, I, Blaming my the, anger? what I should have said was, you know, this is a situation. You hurt me so bad. I don't know who you are. And, you know, I think I'm going to go to the authorities with this. Uh, That's what I should have said. Mm, I shouldn't have said, uh, oh, I got all your information. Bro. <laughs> Hey, yo, hey, 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 this motherfucker didn't go to the authorities when his identity was stolen and federal crimes were committed against him. Police don't and care about that. Fucks Seattle. with him on YouTube and he's going to go to the cops. <laughs> the In Seattle, they don't care about that, though. You know that. Cops don't give a shit about that stuff in Seattle. You know that. Federal crimes? Seattle doesn't give a fuck, dude. Who gives a shit? Come on. Big ups, Rodrigo Mark Conde says, watch the interview live was unforgettable. Five hours of me on the edge of my seat. Experiencing entertainment in its purest form. Big ups, everybody. I, I feel the same. I remember. I ne did not expect it to be this awesome, but holy shit, man. I, so many times you had to stand up. I gotta stand. What the fuck? What? You know? It was amazing. I was 86, on the clock yeah. during it. And, oh, you were? Uh, oh, okay. it made, yeah, it made work so much crazier. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Big ups, Cyclops86 is Asians, blacks, children. I'm a full on grape. Uh, this is from a uh, yeah. This is from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. By the way, it's Charlie's yeah. date. He wanted okay. to say philanthropist, but he forgot, so he said full-on rapist. Ah, okay. There we go. <laughs> be careful. 
Kubos in the house says, it wasn't a threat, it was a factual observation. That is also based. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a factual observation. 100%, you're right. I never, so, I never doxed so that So it guy. was a threat. So you admit that it was a threat. It was... This is the best. Oh god, this is the best. Hold yes. On. Oh god, this is the best. <laughs> I never, so, I never doxed so that So it guy. was a threat. So you admit that it was a threat. It was... It was me venting anger. That's a threat, but, dude. It was, it was me, correct. It was me venting anger. <laughs> Thank you. Threatening man. Okay. But I never did anything with yeah. them. Nor did I ever dox that person. Their information never went on the internet publicly. Or if it did, it wasn't me that did it. Like oh. I said, someone sent me the information. So. But, but well, you understand, like, that, that's, that's not something that, that you should. Uh oh. Craig, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. Craig. Craig. Oh, thank Craig, God he audio. broke up. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. His mic seemed to have been muted. Oh crap! Yeah, I think I think that's it for yeah. this one. <laughs> yeah, great one. All right, that uh, the doxing threat is an easy S for me. Uh, I still want to hear what you guys think, but to me, that's an S because out of nowhere effect, he was such scrambling, so scrambly there, uh, which is the beauty of when he can't have his answers pre prepared. Uh, what do you think, Meerkat? Though, uh, yeah, this is an S. I don't even have to say why. The clip speaks for itself. It was he got bodied in real time. He got. <laughs> What everybody wanted him to get for years, which is somebody just directly calling him out and just interjecting while he's just spewing nonsense and <laughs> yeah. bullshit. And it happened and it was beautiful. Uh huh. God, it was so good. All right, Alice, what are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, un undebatable S. Watching him live scramble like that, the, uh, well, no, it's not that every time, man, every time. I, I, and it's just so good when that, that it's. What is it again? He said it's 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 me venting anger in a in a threatening, threatening manner. manner. In a threatening yeah, manner, yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's me threatening in a God. All right, well, I'm not even going to try it. All right, there's about three more we got to get to, so I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I want to pick my next moment because I definitely want to finish with one we all know and love. But I do want to hear this. Um, so let's do the. What do you think, Meerkat? What should be next? Um, I don't know. Go for it. Okay, I know I'll there's choose. one you loved on there, so yeah, I'm gonna do that one last. That's my closer. That's my closer. So let's let's do this one. This one uh, has uh, is so good as it spawned multiple songs. Even we have to get to this. Simply voicing your opinion is one thing, Keem, but let's take a look at your history here. There's been documented cases where you've actually staged stuff ah. and extrapolated drama in situations where it didn't really exist. There's evidence of this. People they, have admitted explain to that. Explain yeah, that. Yeah, yes, tell please. Me, tell me more. I don't, I'm not aware of these. The documentary I watched last year, uh, but June the King made this one. And mm -hmm. I guess there was a situation with a YouTuber, and I forget if he was a Minecraft YouTuber or another YouTuber. And, you know, originally he appeared supposedly as an upfront, honest guest on Keemstar's show covering this drama. I think it was allegations that he had been with underage girls or something like that. Okay. Come to find out the, it, later on, the whole, or at least part of it, was orchestrated between the two behind the scenes. Like, I guess he wanted to get back at someone, his ex or, or his current girlfriend, okay. and Keem participated in that, that I, setup situation. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. That doesn't even sound <laughs> yeah. legit. Whatsoever. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have the right to deny it. That's fine. Well, you know what? It's out there. Just so you know, that's well, it's out oh, there. Yeah. He's not denying it, though. Say, I just, just so want to say, know. like, you participated in supporting a YouTuber, all right, that covered a story on my misery, right? If I supposedly did something yep. wrong, you watched and supported another YouTuber doing exactly what Dromler does. It's a good point. Well, like, and, and on top of that, and, and just to kind of reiterate this, like, once again, Phil, you're telling Keemstar that he has the right to deny that because he's saying it didn't happen. Uh -huh. Even though you're saying there's a mountain of proof in this documentary, right? Mm -hmm. The same thing is being said to you right now about mm -hmm. your WWE legends and everything like that. And you have the right to deny it too, even though there's a mountain of evidence through documentaries online. Correct. But the, the difference came to respond to your point. Sorry, the <laughs> points just came up. All right. Those other guys, your points were too good. Let me just respond to you, Keem. <laughs> the, the brief silence where Craig just stares at the camera and gives you the one big blink. <laughs> but the, the difference came to respond to your point. Sorry, the other points just came up. Uh, the documentary is not just negative stuff about you. Uh, okay, you understand? The uh, documentary is actually covering your entire history. I've learned a lot of things about you that irrelevant. I find very admirable. 
and very positive oh, by watching this. that. It really did cover factually uh -oh. your eyes and all the stuff I love that's happening. How calm so Keem is. That, no, factually. How do, how do you know it's factual? I'm just curious. It's on yeah. the internet, so it must be true. I know. I, Phil, real quick. I mean, I see documentaries on DSP, but you on the show said half of the stuff's not even true. So right. I'm confused. Is the internet... 100% trustworthy Bingo. or go Because when Doubt it's about me, voice. it's all facts. <laughs> right. When it's about you, it's all lies. I'm I'm confused. It's not all fact. It's not all lies. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's only somewhere in between, right? I don't know that. Soy. Our what voice that is so mean? high. Our voice is so high, only dogs can hear it now. What was that? It's Keem. What the Keem? <laughs> what? But it's, it's oh, like, God. it's so funny. That he finally got to talk to his nemesis, uh -huh. a guy that he straight up just despises. And he tried to take shots at him, and, and he thought that he was hitting the mark. And then he realized he missed everything. And then it, immediately we just transitioned to kissing his ass and talking about the, the positive and nice things. Oh my god. We gotta hear this escalation of pitch. It's about you. It's all lies. I'm, I'm confused. It's not all fact, and it's not all lies. It's it, it, it's always somewhere in between, right? We all know that. We're not stupid. We're not born yesterday. When you watch that documentary, you gotta kind of suspend your disbelief. Say, hey, okay, believe it or don't, right? Make your what? own judgments. We're just saying Please. words now. Suspend your disbelief. You're just what? I don't know what we're talking about. Suspend your disbelief. Say, okay. Hey, okay, believe it or don't. Right. Believe Make it or your don't. Own judgments. This is too awesome. So you chose you believe to believe this one when it came to Akeem. Uh, in, in, in a couple of particular cases, I'm not saying that that one documentary is the only thing I've ever heard about uh, Keem. There's been lots of people who've been That's what you're referencing a, a lot so far. So that's what I'm going on. Can we yes. come to the conclusion that me and you both have a bad reputation? We're controversial figures, but one of us is wildly more successful. <laughs> <laughs> just want to get this out there. Could you say we're kind of similar in this way, but I'm also much more of a badass than you? Could you just say that? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Could you say how, like, I make way more money than you, please? Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> just, set, just settle that, please. Go ahead. Years, <laughs> but one of us is wildly more successful. Oh, I'm not, I wouldn't even say I'm successful at all. So <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, Keemstar, okay. continue with what you were saying. Okay, I think we, we've established this. Keemstar, continue with what you were talking about. So, leading. by the way, just a quick there, I'm not successful is the message yeah. we have. I'm not successful. Remember how much he says? I'm a 15 years, still successful all the time. Uh, but we're not successful when Keemstar's in the same room. That knocks him down a few pegs, I guess. Um, but we're not successful anymore. Got it? Got it? Leading up to this, you reached out to just keep that in mind. Yeah, uh -huh. and DSP, uh, fifty grand on the table to start the podcast. Continue. So, knowing how to help all three of them, all right, and then also creating a business opportunity for myself, right? You know, it it is all these things combined. Yes. Um, and not only just helping TSP wings and boogie and myself, cause this is a brilliant idea, but it's also helping every single person that's in this chat right now. It's also helping. Every right, so, well, that was great. I want, I want to get to the, I have to find I'll time. I'll search timestamps. We got to hear the line. We got to hear the, Oh, it's too long to have timestamps. I want to hear the Holy shit. Phil, we got to hear. Holy shit. Phil. Is that timestamped? Uh, is that timestamped? Meerkat? Uh, I, uh, I don't oh, wait, know. I think it's right here. I think it's right here. I think it's right here. All right, it's right here. Yeah, it should be this. Yeah, yeah. Track is on everything, right? Holy shit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you admit that there were a lot of things that you've done that you probably have no issue with whatsoever. You always feel from your perspective, because there's always two perspectives on everything, right? Holy uh, shit, respect. Phil. I got to say, this is fucking rich coming from you right now, though. Yeah, you, you're, get, you're getting your information <laughs> yeah, from the detractors <laughs> that Keem has. And that's where you're basing this on. When this whole episode, you have been talking about how much shit your detractors have mm -hmm. made other people think about you. Like, do you hear yourself right now? Indeed, I do. That's the, <laughs> okay. the beast. That's how YouTube works, man. That's okay. how all this works, so... right? Fuck, man. You're right. So, from what I've he heard and seen about Keen, you know, I, I, I call them a misery broker. All right? Uh... Keen, on, on a day when you have a good day, it's because someone else is having a bad day. 
Someone else has drama going on. Someone what? else has okay. horrible things happening in their life. It's your good day, man. It's time for you to blow that up. And then you interject like a, like a shoe, shoe wedge. Get shoe into wedge. that life. Get into that drama. Right? Mm-hmm. Love you the be shoe wedge. It. And now get them on your show so that you can pull this out to be not just a one-time thing, but now it's going to be pulled on for weeks and weeks. If there's something Phil, do you know the profit, internet at all? Do you know oh, the know. internet at all? Yes, I do. Do, do you see who's, who's successful on the internet? I mean, yes. Yeah, I, I I would probably be more successful if I talk shit on people, but like I don't, and you know, like I do what I can because hey, that's just where I, I'm at. Let's you know, so it's like, line, we'll you can't on. you can't be upset when people use the algorithms for their advantage, which he seems to have figured out. You're right. And at one point I was. At one point I was a really stupid, jealous guy. Man, I feel like I'm putting out content that's not harmful to anyone. I'm just doing gameplay. I'm dicking around on the internet here with my viewers. And this guy gets over. All right, we're kind of moving on now. But that's, you have to play that, that moment because that's one of the best. Holy shit, Phil. This is rich coming from you. I fucking love that one. <laughs> I fucking love that one. And then, yep. Then he hits him with the generic, like, "Well, that's how the internet works, man." Uh huh. And like, then, then they bring that back on him and say, "Okay, you see how the internet works, then, right?" Because I don't want to be like, I don't know what he's fucking saying. He is that whole sec- Keem, the Keem segment. You know, it's kind of its own thing. Uh, but I, I think when Keem's there, it's probably an easy S, right? No arguments there. S when Keem joins. Oh yeah. <laughs> I give it S. Yes, yeah, has to be. Keem is looking like the calmest dude on earth too and phil is just flailing and that makes it so much better drama as well because keem is sitting there you know yep yep and when he has a point to say it's a sentence or two and then he's done and then you get phil's answer it's the complete and polar opposite flailing around talking in circles uh yeah yeah you're right you're right well no 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 well well, yeah you're right you're right you're right you're right well 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 well. you know it just it's the contrast of those two humans is incredible to watch. Is incredible to watch. Um, I love the flex too from Kim on that one. Just to get him, <laughs> yeah. just just say how cool I am real quick. Yes. That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, could you please say how awesome I am? Thank you. Uh, okay, let's do. Um, people might riot if we don't play the slave trade, Meerkat. What do you think? Should we just play that real quick for fun? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, we, we people we get they got to see that. We don't want. To. Yeah, bust out the slave trade for fun. We have That's to. A good idea. We yeah. have to. We have to do that. People <laughs> might riot if we don't play it. Here we go. We'll play that. This is just for fun. This is just for own fun. <laughs> That's stigma, right? Um, and, and I think this is like, this is important. You said the light bulb went off, you know, about a year ago. You got to change. You, you change your background and stuff. Um, but 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 I want to bring up, like, there's still jokes that are made that um, that don't necessarily, like, they don't fit today. And I want to I want to play one for you really sure. quick and just kind of get your reaction to this. Okay, so this is <laughs> oh, this is yeah. So you know you know where this is going, and I, I want to watch oh, this yeah. so so we all understand what's going on here. I can I can still remember this. <clears throat> all right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a right off for profit. <laughs> Holy shit, we're not done. So what do you think about this racism, Phil? <laughs> not done. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. She's right, she's too valuable to escape. She's worth lots of money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> the cut back. <laughs> I love the cutback. Lots of money. Uh, that's okay. Right, though. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 wow. So, what's going on there, man? Like, let's, let's talk about that. Like, how does that, hey, when, let's when talk you about see that? that. When, like, when you see that, nothing, ha- nothing has to be said. It's just like, whoa. All right. So, where do we go from here, brother? <laughs> how does that make you feel? What are you thinking? Do you regret that saying that? Like, is that edgy sure. humor? Well, first of all, I have an honest question for you Uh-oh. guys. You, you don- See, this, this was one he prepared for, by the way. You know it because he had his. it wasn't him flailing around like we just saw. He knew this was coming in some fashion, and this is what his, his, his big pre- pre- prepared answer was, and it worked beautifully. Seen it. I don't know if Adam has ever seen that clip before. Okay. No, is I haven't. Is that the first time? Okay. What do you think the joke was there? I'm uh-huh. just curious. What yes. do you think I was trying to joke about? That you're selling that girl to the slave trade? Okay. That's what it sounded like. Okay. That's pretty fucked up. Okay. Now, from what reference are you? Are do you think? Um, how can I say this? From what okay, reference? I'll, I'll, I'll approach it. 
<laughs> from what reference are you saying that? You really want him to say she's black? Is that what you're digging for here, Philip? I think it is. <laughs> Could you please just say she's black, Adam? That would make it much easier for my argument. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A reference. Are you, are, do you think, um, how can I say this? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll approach it from the detractor perspective. Uh, okay. okay, detractor perspective. From the Got detractor it. perspective. Now, I want to hear, I want to hear your perspective of what yes. you meant. Yes. Right, yeah, okay, like, we'll do both. It's, we'll it's both. pretty obvious what the detractors mean. Uh, like it, by detractors for, in this like, case, me, normal human that beings. That would have put me on the detractor side, because it sounds like you were making a joke about selling that little girl to the slave trade. How is it not that? Yes. Like, what did you mean? Oh, no, that's, it, that's absolutely, that's the joke. Ah. But there's a difference between saying that's okay <laughs> and it's funny ah. or the ridiculousness of the situation. See, you just saw that clip completely out of context, correct? Yes. You don't know what the, what's going on in the game right there. Okay, well, explain the context then. That sheriff is a corrupt sheriff. <laughs> he is actually orchestrating a situation to try to murder people inside a building to protect his secrets. He's like a dark guy who controls the whole town. And it's a dark this. guy. It's a dark guy. <laughs> Everything, everyone thinks the sheriff's a squeaky clean guy. So you, this is being revealed throughout the plot of the game. He's a scumbag, right? So Scammer. The joke is, this guy's such a scumbag, he's, he's saying to the dad... I'm going to save your daughter. Give me your daughter. Let's take him in and rescue her. But in reality, he's such a scumbag, he'd probably do something like that. He'd probably, you know, traffic people. Uh, that's the joke. Now, mm. is it a joke that's acceptable by today's standards? By 80% of people, probably not. Uh -huh. I agree with you. Do you think that's a joke? Twenty percent. Like, do you think that's a joke acceptable by any standards? Like, 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 I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> even, do you think even it's a funny? Ago. Like, yeah. that's yeah. Is there any? Where does the humor part of the joke come in? Two decades <laughs> right. ago, three what? decades like, ago, it comes from and the I, same I, place I, I, as all his <laughs> older joke. You yeah. just look at somebody, and you assume it. the most basic stereotype that is said about them based on how they look, and you just say it. It's the <laughs> same shit he used to do in 2010. Yeah. It's exactly the same shit. Dude, the more I did, I, I did the fucking whole stream about when he said black guy, and I did all the moments he says black guy, and you are right. His jokes are black guy on the screen and say, like, oh, look, a black guy. That's the joke. Oh, here comes a black yeah. guy. That's it. I'm not making that up. That is not an exaggeration, people. He says, oh, black guy. Hey. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's his literal joke is, oh, black guy. That's it. And also Asian. Oh, chicken fried rice. Hello. Yep. <laughs> I'm not making that up. <laughs> that is I'm it. Looking, I'm looking forward to the, the Code Asian Oh, Code uh, Asian's got to come up. Yeah, we're Code Asian streams coming in the future. Code... <laughs> All right. We got to end at some point. We're going long here, but this is so magical. Let's just see how this ends. I'm going to go to the last one. It's, it's um, like, uh, I just want to hear your thoughts on that because yeah, I, I think there's edgy content, then there's inappropriate content. And we've, think... we've, look, we've, all been, we've all been guilty of edgy content before, you know, so... Mm -hmm. I think it's it's dark humor. Ah. It's definitely skirting the risque. Okay, risque. Not to say that I, I've heard much worse, obviously, from oh. other people, but that doesn't make. Oh it my good. god, listen to that! But <laughs> I, I've killed one person. I, I know people that killed five people. So, I mean, you do the math. Well, in on comparison, that. it's not that bad. Come on. <laughs> But bro, where is where is the setup and where is the punchline? Because the joke, the way I see it is, look at this girl, she's black, let's sell her for slavery. That's that's all. That uh, is it. There is people. no actual, like, figuring out a joke or a punchline or somewhere where people are supposed to laugh. It's just like, this is what I'm looking at, this is the observation I make, and uh, I suppose it's a joke. The joke is... With, with yeah, go ahead, Atlas. I say with enough charm and charisma, like you could even get away with that to some extent. Like if you just have that kind of personality, but DSP's not that. He doesn't have the charm for it. He just comes off as awful every time. And what's how is yep. this hurting the line of risque? What the fuck? This does not come off as risque in any way. Like, but I, okay, let's listen more to the risque. Okay, for me to do it, I uh, know that. Um. And you know, there's well, especially, but especially with 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 what's following you around, this this mm -hmm. the, you know your reputation, right? Do you think that if you truly, if the light truly went off in yes. your head to say like I got to change, don't you think it would be like, well, maybe maybe I should bite my tongue on this one. I may be thinking it, but but how about I bite my tongue on Please. this? Yes. Imagine having to have <laughs> two men your own age, you're like 40, and they sit you down and they tell you that it's bad to, to say things like that. Imagine! <laughs> He's getting talked to by the principal or the vice principal in high school.
<laughs> now listen, Philip. And, and they're talking to him like he's like 12. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what because he, he fucking this, is mentally. May, maybe this is not good to say. Uh, do you agree, Phil? <laughs> yes or no? Well, you can let me say tell yes. You. <laughs> well, what, well, let me uh, let me ask you a question here. What did you hear with my joke? Okay. Uh, I'll tell you why that's different. It's uh, it's not the same. Okay. We got Petchy says back in the day, two years ago, everyone loved the slave trade. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> two years ago, the slave trade super hot. Everyone was joking about it. It was like the joke of the town, dude. A big up Cyclo Cyclops 86 says he's heard worse at clan meetings. Uh huh. At a clan meeting, this is nothing. Come on. This is just, that's say how you say hello. Come on. All right. Let's stop this one. Let's go to my personal favorite. You know what's going to, you know what it is. This still hits you like a ton of bricks. This still hits you like a ton of bricks, right? So come on. Get in here. But uh, in the meantime, all right. I got to hear and, the last talk up here. All right. Well, let's that adds to the weight. Okay. Uh, and it is there's oh, yeah there, go ahead please i i have a request just yes. for one extra oh yes definitely. In, it's the one where he he tries to cry because oh, it's okay. like gotcha one of the funniest fucking moments ever gotcha 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 all right let's do that first <sighs> a couple things <laughs> start the big vid with the sigh all right talk about all that stuff i feel um okay <sighs> a couple things that no one knows. <sighs> I, guess I, have to. I don't want to do this I really don't want to do this, but you know, again, I, I Phil, get... Phil, you do what you do what you're comfortable with, man. I think that's the biggest thing. Is I didn't want to have to do like, this. Let me go put the paper away. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, hold on. I think he goes to put the fucking paper with the bills away. Okay, yeah, we, we can also check this out, no but we don't have knows. time. To. No one has ever heard of this before. <laughs> okay, so get a load of this. I don't want to talk about shit because he's gonna be a victim again. Oh my god, I don't want to talk about shit. What? Hold on, hold on. I don't remember this. Before. Okay, right, so get a load of this. I don't want to talk about shit. Because he's going to be a victim again. It sucks. Well, no, you delicious. don't. You, you, said, you said like 30 minutes ago, you don't give a shit. And it doesn't make a difference. So yeah, pick, pick a point. Pick, pick a place to stand. Yeah, uh -huh. I know. I don't either, know. either you don't give a shit and you're going to move on and let the haters hate you no matter what because there's nothing to do. Or try to appease them. It's not, it, you can't be somewhere in the middle where you're I like, I might appease you. I might Adam, actually do this. I'll think about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Adam, I don't care <laughs> about one or the other. I care about you guys. I care so you're about sick. my viewers. I care about right. these neutral parties out there who've heard so much nasty stuff about me. At least have a place to listen and hear my side. You know, that's what this is. <laughs> and I appreciate you guys so much for giving me this time. I really do. I'm sorry I'm getting oh, emotional now. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to get emotional, you guys. I might cry. Oh, oh, oh. I'm fuck this. I'm going to do it. All right. I'm going to tell you oh, God. a few things that no one knows without specifics uh -oh. okay so it doesn't really get ready put anyone guys under the bus or anything. i've been involved in a few different you know legal things over the years i've been involved with medical issues my own health and my wife's all right and it's not stuff I should talk <laughs> he about tried so audience. hard to cry i don't want my audience to my come to my stream and be like i want to give you a tip because i found out that it just you wouldn't come out issue or something going on that's none of it no one's business <laughs> uh -huh. i don't I, you know i said to my let me explain i said to my audience yep. if you're going to come to a DSP gaming or a DSP react stream, please come support me because you like me and my content. Oh my okay? God. Don't come support me because you want to stick it to the haters. Worse than you I remember. I don't want that pity party. Keep that, you know, you know, let them celebrate whatever. Come and just support me for my content. If I tell you stuff that's going on that, that are expenses, you know, medical expenses, legal expenses, you know, and it's, ha I mean, I, again, I'm not going to tell you, I, you know, I have some medical conditions. Okay. Well, and, then, 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 <laughs> then, and then, uh, uh, real quick, this pause. is your forum. Yeah. When he said this, when he said this, the entire chat went gout, 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 gout. <laughs> Fuck, what a crank to say gout. <laughs> like, this is your forum, Phil. Yes. Right? You can if, say whatever you want here. If there's some sort of, like, medical condition that is that is causing you to live, you know, paycheck to paycheck or, or stream to stream, it, you, you pride yourself on transparency. I can uh, something going on and like yeah. you know, and not that okay i don't want to make right. anyone think that but, i'm trying to again this is not a pity party here right. it's not no, that. It's it's not. A, so a, a few chronic it was. things that come back over the years and then you know yes there's a medical cost there's deductible of course you know you have to pay to a certain <laughs> amount but in a nutshell pig explaining medical expenses okay i've been involved with a few legal things okay and I've been involved with some medical things, okay? Ah. And essentially what's happened over the years is I can't really pay them because of the financial situations that I've been in, okay? And did you pay any of those, did you pay any of those things as business expenses? I, uh, again, I believe, and I don't know if this is true or not. 
I don't Isn't know. True that certain... You're asking the wrong person, Craig. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Like your health insurance premiums and stuff is covered <laughs> or is, is, is a tax deductible? I don't know. Again, I get asked this by my tax guy. I do. He says, your what are tax, your, what are your... your tax guy was asking you this? <laughs> he said, I just got an email the other day. That said, we need your breakdown of what you paid for premiums. If you had no any clue medical what's going expenses, on. if you had any of this, we need all this to file your taxes properly. That doesn't so, sound right, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Again, Good point. Again, no, listen, please. Great point, and dude. Here's the problem: I don't want people going over my tax guy. You know what I mean? He knows oh. what he's doing. He, he is a I mean, professional. But he, but he clearly doesn't because you've been in tax <laughs> it doesn't issues. Sound like it. No, like, no, no. <laughs> my no, tax no. issues are not over <laughs> Wait. before this shit. They really are. I used to have tax huh? issues with the old account. You might be getting the stories mixed. I used to have an old uh. guy who fucked everything up. This person I have now has fixed everything. Okay? okay. I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. This guy is great. And I want people to understand that. Okay? Except for the last but guy. I'm throwing him under the bus. Uh -huh. like. Okay. I have a few ongoing things. When you don't have credit anymore, okay? <laughs> but you still owe. Some things can get erased, some things can't. All right, buy a bankruptcy or whatever. Yeah, oh, and buy a bankruptcy or whatever, uh -huh. Situation where I have ongoing costs that I'm on payment plans for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not, right. oh, credit card. I can't get a credit card. I have no credit. My credit sucks because I have bankruptcy. No, my, I, I have payment plans. So, for example, I incur a legal cost of several thousand dollars. Okay, Phil, you don't have to pay that today. You could pay it slowly over time. I would yeah, I don't know the if there's expenses. much more yeah. left. We don't have this. to hear the whole expenses. Yeah, the whole expenses yeah. breakdown, trying to make you feel bad. All right, one last one before you adjourn for today. We could have done 30 of these, obviously. Uh, real quick, let me get it. Let me get the tier list up. Got to put that one in. Um, this was the trying to cry. <laughs> I don't remember the, the real force there that he did definitely try to cry at that one moment. He was like, I don't know if I want to get into it. He he absolutely did because whenever he cries on stream, he specifically says I'm getting emotional. Yeah, yeah. And he did this in this one segment exactly as he always does. It just wouldn't come out. The moves wouldn't come out. The crying combo the didn't work. Cry input. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Cannon Brothers rolled that fucking dice and it didn't come up cry. <laughs> Son of a bitch, Tom Cannon. I hate you. All right, drama bin. I'm gonna put an S. I don't give a shit. Fair United, enough. United States of ALT, and that's an S. All right, last one here. Of course, it's near and dear to my heart, my favorite moment. You know what it's coming to, but I don't care. Here we go. Let's get to it. <laughs> and I want to give you a little bit of warm up because that adds to it, I think. We, we, we could do like. So you get the vibe of what Craig was going for here, okay? Me grooming my ex girlfriend. Is, it, is, is that what you want to focus on, though? He, well, he asked you specifically yeah. is there anything that you want to bring up? Okay, well, let's, let's do this. Phil, would you be open to coming back on again? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Cool. It, we, 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 yeah. we can do like a part two and uh, and just kind of hit on more of those things, right? Because yeah, yeah, I want to be conscious of everybody's so time. He, he, you notice that Craig gave you an out because Phil was trying to talk about serious stuff. And Craig says, okay, well, there'll be a part two. We could talk about, we can hit on more of those things. You got that. You heard that. Well, you know what I'm saying, right? I'm not being crazy here. Yep. He said, we can hit on that important stuff next time. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, we got that. We got that known. All right, now let's go and see how Phil handles this. All right, well, let's do this. Let's we'll schedule a part two for some time down the line, right? And and uh, and you know, get you on for a part two. Yes. But uh, in the meantime, what what is the one thing that you wish you could address right now that we haven't addressed today? One thing you want to address that we haven't addressed today. Okay, so whatever you want. You know, this would be a great time to say, I really want to say thank you to my fans. They really support me. I oh, really yeah. appreciate them. Uh, really, I know it's been tough, and I know I care about the tractors too much, but I'm just going to forget about that. I really want to say thanks to you guys, everybody. Okay? Here's the chance. What do you do? Oh, my gosh. You know? Well, the first thing uh, you just said was that grooming shit. Like, is that, what's up with that? Because I, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's, it's blatantly false. Adam kind of brought that up, ex, yeah. <laughs> I met, she contacted me. I never contacted her. She contacted me via YouTube DMs. That doesn't matter. Thing. How old That's was how she? Ago uh -huh. This was over a decade yeah. ago. Yep. She was an adult, a legal adult. We spoke for months before we ever started dating. People say I met her when I when oh, wait, she was like wait, 16 wait, 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 I groomed her for years. Yep. I never even Hold on. If you, if you have to wait for somebody to officially be 18 for you to start dating them, Guess what that's called? That's called grooming. That's the very definition of grooming. You're prepping her in a very grooming fashion for the day she's ready for the big show. In this yep. case, the big show is uh, here. That's the big show. 
All right, let's go. I never started dating. Well, People say I met the her when I, when she was 16 and I groomed her for years. I never even spoke to her until she okay. was after she was 18. Okay. It's a complete and bold yeah, well, there you lie. go. Okay. okay. Another thing. Oh. I'm sorry that I have to bring this up, but nope, I talked to my wife about it. I want to get you this don't. out in the open. People say that I'm some kind of a horrible woman abuser, and basically I, I groom these women, and I bring them into my, you know, it's my personal life. My wife and I met online, casually talking, for a few months that's before not, we ever started dating that is correct. or anything like that. On Twitter. Okay? Um, basically, she was in a really bad place in her life, an abusive relationship. She got out of that relationship, and once she did, then we started talking a little bit more romantically. And then Incorrect, things- sir. The timeline's a little bit iffy here. Of course, we don't know the exact deals, but I'm, I'm seriously doubting that they didn't talk until after she was broken up from Subaru, who, keep in mind, she was living with him until she moved in with DSP. So get that straight. Go Pursuit. ahead. People made stuff up and said that I basically stole her from her ex and that he's a victim. It's funny. Because when you look oh, on the internet, they will find Very all funny. this public information about me and my personal life. They'll find my bankruptcy. They'll find all these statements. Did you ever find the restraining order that she had against her ex because he was hitting her? Right? But, you know, make him look like a good guy on the internet, right? Which is what they've done. My detractors have actually done this. They've gone into her personal life with her family. I think she that's has really nothing why, to do with me. The really or- reason he brought this up is because, remember, Subaru was like a hero for us. I mean, not a hero, but we would, like, use him in songs as, like, a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, yeah. he had a lot of lines, and that, that really got to him. And he had to set the record straight on this. That's the whole reason I mean, for, for my content. Oh, <laughs> all in all... Yes. If if dark side Phil steals your bitch, you're not a cool guy. Yes, there's that's nothing for sure. cool yes. about. Yeah, it. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. If you're going to mess with me, that's one thing. Uh, leave my family, leave my, my everyone out of it. Make fun of me. Put the brunt on me. It's one of my biggest regrets. Was, notice that he was going to say, "Leave my family, leave out." There was no one else to say because there's no. <laughs> we need to get to the second one on the list. You, you might say friends family. next, but there's none of them. So uh, leave my family. Leave my. Uh, leave them out of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Content creator. I never meant for anyone to get All right, hurt. We're not gonna watch this again. Uh, we know. We know them. Also, that was not public information. No. Uh, no. We he, only got he outed that. it confirmed yep. through like actual lawyers that inquired about it. Yes. One hundred percent. Not. Public information. We did find someone did find it because they had a they, someone a lawyer in that state could look at the records and found it was true. So it is confirmed to be true. Uh, but yeah, no one would have fucking found that ever if it wasn't for Billy Boy spilling the guts on that for a little bit extra pity. You know what I mean? That's what it was all about. Getting that last little pity from you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that was the cat restraining order there. Uh, what a, what a day it's been. Thanks everybody for hanging out, checking out our. Madness. I believe both of you beautiful gentlemen are doing streams today. Is that correct? Atlas, I know you're doing one, right? Yeah. And I'm doing the whole react. Big ups. And Aircat is doing the same. So you have a plethora. Yeah. A plethora of choices here. Cat restraining order is S all day. Uh, but um, with that being said, I do uh, hate to do this, but we have to do it. <laughs> Because we have to do it. And I'm sure some of you might know where I'm going with this, but I will uh, pass it off to the business style host here for a, uh, an announcement here. Yeah, well, uh, Sam is gone. He's on indefinite hiatus again. And yes. we wish him all the best, and we hope he's back soon, if he feels like it. If not, then, you know, big ups. Hope everything is going well with him. Yes. Always glad to have him back. We've been day ones. So the door is always open, man. He's always welcome in our home. Yes. And we're going to give him sure. a nice little romantic kiss on the cheek. Because he's our dentist. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so we will definitely been missing him. We miss him now, and I'll miss him going forward. Uh, but he'll always have a spot here in our hearts, if nothing else. Even if he's not on the show, he'll always be in our hearts. He was one since the beginning. He's a legend. Uh, but yeah, he's just uh, not with uh, us. Hold on. Not with us. Yes, go ahead. Seems we missed somebody super chat. Oh, yeah, Let I did just... miss a few. Here we go. Big ups, everybody. So Petchy says, when he puts the paper away, note Adam's reaction. Ah, sorry, I didn't check that Petchy in time. You're a legend anyway. And Cyclops says medical issue is to hate on people. Correct, that is his medical condition. But um, you're all legends, everybody. Sam is will not be going with us going forward. Indefinite uh, hiatus, let's say. We're not thinking about anything like replacement or any shit like that. Uh, but no Sam for now. But we will keep the train a moving with legendary guests like Atlas was today. All right. Anything else I should say, Meerkat? I think that's it. Um, this is your chance, Meerkat. It. This is your chance. This is your chance to say whatever you want, Meerkat. Um, you can say what you want to say now. Here's your time. What do you want to leave people with? 
Um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, go find out my girlfriend's restraining order against me because I beat her, I guess. Yes. All right, guys. You're legends. We'll see you again. Bye. Bye. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat, big ups. I first saw you in Burger King, you took two seats cause that ass is way too big, had a boyfriend I realized. Lies with your raccoon eyes. The DoorDash is here. Wipe away your tears. Got you extra fries, and they taste just right. Have no fear. There's no trolls here. Tevin made you cry. With those raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Tevin made you cry With those raccoon eyes Take you some sushi like you were the queen let me run some errands while you sleep i can watch you play skyrim all day this week have no fear there's no trolls here Kevin made you cry with those records so much she loves me and a family and jasper and, and you know the things we get to do together and i definitely want more time with them and more family time but i absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be seriously all those years back then you'd be like it's a whirlwind of crap it was me and by the way i've told you guys about my past i used to drink way too much i would be drinking constantly all the time because i was so stressed out i was I, honestly when i started with this whole thing i was depressed many years ago you know a decade ago i didn't like my life or anything and basically liquor was the way to kind of get through that you know it was oh i hate my life i hate, I hate who i am so let me just drink it all away and just keep pumping out fucking youtube videos i don't have to do that shit anymore you know like i'm happy with who i am I actually don't think clicking like on a live stream helps at all. So it really doesn't matter if this, this stream gets 100 likes or two. I don't think it affects it. Everyone hates me. I did justice because back then I was pointing a camera at my television. Terrible. I had just adopted your ex 2008 and my content's fine. The way I do things is strange but uniquely mine. I point a handicap at my TV. Record the footage and upload to DSP. Space Gaming. Less is a hell.
crash at the door Now I'm tripping over cables strewn around my office floor The colors pop, I can't believe the inky blacks I'm so impressed, I think you fixed my fucked up back The chat of mess Don't.